Hello, hello, hello. I'm just over here jamming to this BGM. <laughs> this event music is so good. Oh my gosh. I always, um, when I'm, I'm loading up the stream, I'm like getting myself some tea and making sure I've got some water and I'm just sitting over here being like, oh, this is a banger. <laughs> How are you doing? I am unbelievably excited to play this event. I have uh, been eagerly awaiting this for many, many months, ever since I saw it um, teased on the, the Japanese server. So yeah, very excited about this. <laughs> and yeah, I took some time just to make sure that um, my my little sweater arm with Pararo was uh, matching my new outfit, which to those of you who have not seen this yet, I have a second outfit now. <laughs> pretty exciting! I took some time um, and made a second outfit and rigged it and uh, got it all ready for um, the one year Yumiversary. So yeah, it's uh, it's finally here. Just in time for us to be playing through this. Oh, I'm very excited for this event. I feel like going back and seeing the game development girls is going to be really fun. I'm very, very excited. Oh gosh, I've been dying to play this with you all. Um, I just wanted to make sure that this would be at a time that most people could come and show up. Um, so yeah, I was waiting until the weekend. Oh gosh. Oh man. And yes, yes, I have tried this events mini game. Um, <laughs> it's a little hard. Um, it's definitely easier if you pick Yuzu over Aris. Um, it's a little difficult though. Bear actually beat it um, with Yuzu on normal mode, not hard mode. Both of us have not attempted hard mode, but yeah. <laughs> and yes, the game development girls are everyone's daughters. Yes, no, they're so precious. I'm so excited to play through this event. And hello, hello everyone. It is snack and time indeed. We're gonna play through this event. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's been entirely too long since we have last visited Millennium. So yeah, um, we're just gonna, we're gonna hop right into it, y'all. It's gonna be great. We're gonna, we're gonna go see everyone again. And then at the very end, um, you can see I've saved up a lot of polls. <laughs> so we're gonna be making some polls. It's gonna be good. We're gonna, we're gonna be pulling for Maid Otis primarily because I desperately want her. She's extremely cute. Um, but if we happen to get her, I, I would love to get Bunny Toki as well. Toki needs some friends desperately. So anyway, it's gonna be good. Let's hop into it. We've got a prologue that we've got to get through first. I'm actually remembering to do it this time. <laughs> I feel like the last couple event streams, I keep forgetting to start with the prologue, but I've remembered this time. So we're gonna do it. Oh God. All right, into the story. Let's do it, y'all. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited for this event. Okay, let's do it. I told you that uniform is dangerous. Welcome, Sensei. I'm still settling in, so I hope you can excuse the lackluster atmosphere. Also, you crazy people. I'll read Super Chats at the end, but thank you. <laughs> you all are entirely too generous, good God. <laughs> okay, all right, Toki, back, back to this. Uh, uh, people are very nice. Um, okay, Toki, still settling in. Are you here by yourself, Toki? Technically, yes. Yes, I am. The others are on the field completing a mission. Yes, completing a mission is something that I have yet to do, despite also being a CNC member. Well, it's not as if I'm needed. They're already a well-oiled machine on their own. My call sign, Zero Four, can just collect dust, neglected and forgotten. <laughs> Toki, no! You precious child, it's okay. You're not forgotten, oh god! <gasps> are, are you by chance, um, upset, Toki? Why would you ask that? I am a professional, highly trained agent. I do not care. I am 
Fine. <laughs> um, Toki, the more you try to convince me, the more you sound like you're on your last straw. Your assessment of the situation is entirely incorrect, Sensei. I have never been better. My heart rate has remained constant, and I have not exhibited any of the usual physical symptoms of an emotional response. Physical symptoms of an emotional response, Toki! <laughs> Toki, my girl, I need to give you a hug! And regardless of my feelings, a seminar has refused to transfer me to another department in any official capacity. The only people I am currently permitted to take orders from would be the General Student Council, which, consequently, would mean you as a member of Chale. Therefore, unless you need me to sort paperwork or get coffee for you today, I am on indefinite standby, which is fine. Completely and utterly fine. Also, I saw some folks asking if my chat was quite far behind. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. That will uh, unfortunately be a YouTube problem. So if it's a little far behind, my apologies. You'll have to uh, file your official complaints with YouTube. My apologies, y'all. <laughs> oh gosh, sometimes it's weird when stuff comes in. But um, anyway, my apologies, Toki. I got distracted trying to reassure people that YouTube sometimes is weird. Sometimes I feel like it gets weirdly caught up, so it looks like we're okay. All right. <laughs> okay, okay, y'all. Anyway, my apologies, Toki. My apologies. Um, Toki? I am a professional. Professionals do not need to complain about their assignments, or even the lack thereof. I have no problems with the current situation. Do I believe that, Toki? <laughs> yes. No problem. I understand the meaning behind your expression, and I maintain my dissent. Anyways, can I help you with anything? Oh, is that what you came for? To request CNC for work? Something I could do? Ahem. <laughs> Not that I am hoping for any such thing, because I am fine with the situation as it is. Um, that's an interesting thing, Toki. I actually did have something. I appreciate the effort, but it's fine, Sensei. <laughs> what, what do you mean, Toki? I know what you're doing. You're trying to make me feel better. There's no need. I don't need some menial task born from pity. I have not a shred of loneliness, melancholy, or boredom to the point of raiding seminar myself and demanding work. Not even the smallest iota. Okay, okay, Toki. <laughs> I'm not making up orders for you. I came here with something in mind, I promise. I do have a genuine request of CNC. Analyzing the slight furrow in your brow and the earnest gleam of your eyes, you're serious. I will respond to your resolve in kind. We must have the correct ambient. We must have the correct ambience for your request. Would you like some tea, Sensei? You. You don't need any, but... <laughs> Toki, you're trying too hard. It's okay, just hear me out. I need your help with something, I promise. It'll be worth your time. <laughs> I don't need any tea. I already have some, thank you. Understood. It's just... This is my first assignment since joining CNC. It's juvenile, but it also feels like a significant moment for me. I'm ready. What is my very first mission as a CNC member? I need a maid uniform. <laughs> uh, maid uniform? I see. What was with that judgmental silence? <laughs> listen, listen, I have a reason for this, 
Toby. It was not judgment, but rather curiosity as to when and why you began wearing maid uniform, Sensei. Listen, 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 Toki. <laughs> I can get into cosplay too, but there, there's a reason that I need these. <laughs> but as I said, I will not judge you. I hope the ones here will fulfill your needs. It may be difficult, but I'll try to find a spare in your size. We have no changing room, so please begin removing your clothes out here while I search. I'll see what adjustments can be made to help it fit, but with such a rush order. Okay, okay. <laughs> hold on, Toki. Hold on, Toki. I'm all for cosplay, but you are misunderstanding. I, I have a different reason. I need made uniforms for the game development department. What? The game development department? Well, well, well. The plot thickens! <laughs> oh, oh, God! Let's go. I love, I love the little event logo. It's very, very good. All right, Toki, listen. <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> All right. You know, I was tempted just to run this and skip it earlier just so that I could get Yuzu ahead of time, but we're going to be getting Yuzu now. So let's do it. Oh, man. Super Momoi Tornado. Ah! I misclicked. I got it. Just one more shot. You're trying to execute a strong attack in a frame battle? <laughs> Bold! I like it. But too bad. Fall victim to my new special move. Kneel in front of the Super Momoi Tornado. Command C D A A B B C C A B C C C and cancel. I'm not done yet! Super Momoi Combo! Left, right, crouch! Left, right, crouch AB! The Super Momoi Tornado! Dang, Momoi! She's gaming! <laughs> oh no, they have collapsed. Momoria wins! Let's go! Good job, Momoi! <laughs> Victory is mine! That battle went on forever. My countless defeats against Yuzu, against Midori and Aris, and, and even, even Sensei! I have finally overcome my lost streak. Today's win will be the catalyst for my rebirth. People will forever mark this day as the beginning of Momoria's rise to greatness. Poor Momoi. She's constantly surrounded by gamers who are so much better than her. But I'm proud of you, Momoi. You were actually able to win. Excuse me. You're here, like, all the time. Right? People have been talking about the student who refuses to leave the arcade until they get a win every single night. Uh, who's been saying that, huh? <laughs> it, it's not just until I get a win. See, it is her. She gets super defensive if you talk about winning around her. Wow. Does that mean all the rumors are true? Does, does my reputation precede me? <laughs> Am I famous? You must be the little menace. <laughs> C come again? Who, who exactly are you calling the little menace? You, duh! You've been the talk of the arcade recently. 
You're the one who spams ultimates until one connects whenever you're backed into a corner, right? Right, right! Hey, is it true that if you lose, you won't let the other player go home until you beat them? And then if you can't beat them, you'll break the machine and run away screaming? Momoi? What's going on, Momoi? <laughs> Breaking the machine. Momoi. <laughs> That's going way too far. You're making me sound like a bad person. And what's this nonsense about me spamming ultimates when... Uh, actually, well, well, that one might be a little true. <laughs> Momoi! <laughs> Check your socials. People are already posting that the little menace is here. No way! Oh my god, you're right! It's everywhere! What, what in the world is happening? It, is this real life? Why are there so many of you? Where did you come from? Momoi, we might need to have a talk about you breaking machines. <laughs> that can't be good. I told you, it's really her! The Little Menace! Okay, fine. You are right. Can we go now? I heard she'll force you to play with her all night. At gunpoint, if necessary. Can, can someone please explain to me where the name The Little Menace even comes from? I'm a really nice person, and I'm not violent either. I'm just a regular, passionate gamer. I am honored to finally meet the infamous Little Menace. Oh? Oh! <laughs> do, do I know you? I know of you, but you do not know me. My apologies. I am Dota Meitaro. Let us not mince words. I am here to request your services. You are the only one who can help Little Menace. I'm trying to tell you, I'm not this little menace. Please, it is all well within your capabilities. A simple cleaning job. Huh? Really? <laughs> Just cleaning? Yes, that is all. Surely it would not be an issue for the likes of you. Uh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sure, I guess cleaning isn't all that hard, but I really feel like you could have asked anybody. This request was meant for the little menace, and only the little menace. Thank you for accepting. Here are your next steps. You'll find what you need in that letter, including the declared time and place. Hold on, just one second. <laughs> Slow down. I look forward to working with you, Little Menace. Or should I say, Mikamo Neru of CNC. <laughs> God damn it, of course! <laughs> what? What? Because they're both short and they've got orange hair. <laughs> oh my god, of course it's Nehru. Of course she was getting mistaken for Nehru. Oh my god, that's so funny. Nehru's been staying up and forcing people to play with her. <laughs> it's probably honest. It's probably honest. She's forcing to play with her. <laughs> and now that just about sums it up. <laughs> oh no! You've all been roped into a cleaning job, but the type of cleaning that CNC does is um very different. Momoi? Yes? Why do you always have to rope us into your messes? You need to learn how to say no to people. Y you weren't there, so you don't get it. I, 
I really did try to say something, but I was utterly overpowered. I do not get it either, but I understand that our party has accepted a new quest. Bum 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 bum! <laughs> a new qu quest means we're going to go outside. Ah, <laughs> I don't know how to get myself out of this mess. I messed up again. You're right. I should have just said no. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> you said it's just a cleaning job. Uh, yep. Pinky promise. I, I even double checked. Well, if it's just a cleaning job, you did say it's something anyone can do. Although, if someone is hiring someone to clean for them, that normally means they need a professional. It won't be easy. Wait, are, are you gonna help me, Mido? Really? Really, really? You don't have any way of backing out, and we're not just gonna abandon you. So, yeah, we'll pretend that we're CNC members and clean like our lives depend on it. Ever. I'm so lucky to have shared a womb with someone like you. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> get, get off of me before I change my mind. I, I have to leave the club room and go meet people and talk to them and... <laughs> We're by your side, Yuzu. You won't be alone. R rage. Annihilation. Fear. The end of the world inches even closer. Despair upon us all. Quest accepted. It is quest time. Quest time. <laughs> I love you, Otis. So, that being said, help us out, Sensei. <sighs> me? Wh wh what do you want me to do to help you girls? Duh! With Sensei's authority, we can go pretty much anywhere we want. And we need a temporary advisor if our client has any hard questions. Isn't it an adult's job to come up with excuses or whatever? Momoi, it's probably true, but, um, listen. <laughs> I don't just come up with excuses, all right? We need to discuss your perspective on adults, Momoi. <laughs> if Sensei comes, I will be a fearless hero. After all, it is the mascot that helps the hero be strong and brave. Please join our party, Sensei. Honest, you're so precious. I promise I'll be the best mascot possible. <laughs> I, I know it's an imposition, but I don't know how I'll find the nerve w without you there, Sensei. Well, if you put it that way, Yuzu, <laughs> serving as an advisor is part of my responsibilities. You mean it, Sensei? I knew we could count on you. Nice. As our first order of business, I have a request for our new temporary advisor. Okay, things are getting good. Let's do it. What's our first move? Find us some maid uniforms. You know, an interesting step one, but I guess you do have to play the part. You have to look like CNC members. But, uh, come again. <laughs> uh, and back to the current day. Uh, so, Toki, that's how I ended up here. This is why I'm asking you for made uniforms. 
I have a grasp of the situation. Please don't tell Nehru. She'll be really, really mad. And you didn't think I would be? <laughs> oh no, Toki, don't be mad. Ah, uh, well, um, I just thought that you'd maybe want to help me. Understood. Okay, rest assured, I will protect your secret to my last bullet. Oh, thank God, Toki, thank you. <laughs> I'll repay you for this one day, I promise. Yes, I won't forget that. Oh, bless you, Toki. <laughs> oh, God. Yoroshiku Yuzu! Oh my god, she's so cute! God, why are they so adorable? Oh my god! I can't. My heart can't handle it. <laughs> so dang cute! Oh. Adorable. So dang adorable. <laughs> she's so cute! Okay. Okay, we're gonna enter. Let's go to the next one. I wonder, hmm, I kinda wanna use Yuzu for this event. Let me really quick, I'm gonna go level her up and then we'll return to the story really quick. <laughs> Hello, Midori. Okay, let's go. We'll level her up really quick. And that also gives everyone a chance if you need uh, water, make sure to go and hydrate. I'm gonna level her up really quick. Do I really need her at 85? I'll bring her down to, we'll just do 80. That's fine. Okay, we'll level up, let's go. <laughs> okay. All right, and then we're just gonna level up. <laughs> yeah, I gotta use this money on something, right? <laughs> All right, Yuzu, let's get you up to this. Fantastic, that should be fine. And then really quick, we're gonna do this. I'll just level up her basic skills. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna keep her at a one star for now because I'm gonna get a bunch of her elves from the event, but we'll get her to three and then get this to four. <laughs> This is what happens um, when uh, late game, you just somehow end up with a bunch of money. It's not always the case. Bear doesn't have nearly as much money as I do, but also Bear is a lot luckier than I am. And so he has more characters to build. <laughs> okay, back to the event. Little intermission there. All right, I'm gonna take a drink of my tea really quick and then we're gonna hop into this. We now have a Yuzu. Whoops, I accidentally blocked my camera. <laughs> Rogue Robin, I have 2,000% of your current currency. No! Here's the thing, I tend to spread the wealth amongst characters. Bear um, also doesn't have as much uh, currency in game and he tends to like max out characters, so. <laughs> But yeah, I'm having some jasmine tea. It's very nice. It's good because it's morning where I'm at. So I needed a little bit of caffeine, but also wanted some nice tea to go along with it. So, oh God, that's such a great question. Who is Bear's favorite character? God, that's so hard. Uh, I don't know if he's got like a singular favorite. Oh, that's so hard. He really likes Aru, Haruna, and Kazusa. Like, a lot. <laughs> Which is fantastic. I also love those characters. But he loves a lot of the cast. It's really difficult to pick, like, a single one. But yeah, great question. Great question. <laughs> I know, it is really hard to pick a favorite in this game. <laughs> Tifumi is really good, though. <laughs> But everyone is wonderful. Before I knew it, it was time to meet Momoi and the rest for their job. 
just when I was starting to wonder where they were. She's so cute. Momoi! Momoi! <laughs> At your service, Sensei. Uh, hey, hey there, Momoi! That's me. I changed my class to a maid. Oh my god, you're so cute! It's super cute, right? Yes! Yes, it is! <laughs> yes, it is, Momoi! I'm dying. You're adorable. Isn't it perfect? Go on, praise me. Oh my god, you're so cute, Momoi! I'm dying. Please be playable. Please be playable the next time this event comes around, please. <sighs> the stars must have aligned for this moment to occur. I must have been born to witness Momoi in a maid uniform. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my god. You, you didn't have to go that far. <laughs> Uh, uh, now I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> how is it that one second you're complaining about how uncomfortable your uniform is, and the next you're leaving us behind in the dust? My excitement to show Sensei overpowered my discomfort. Uh, hello, Sensei. I'm sorry we got here after you. No, it's okay, Midori. I'm sure the uniforms took a long time to get on. It looks great on you, Midori. <laughs> you, you really think so? <laughs> Thank you. You can't hide forever, Yuzu. Come on. I know we just saw her, but she's so cute. No, oh, wait, I, I can't, I... Uh, oh, okay. Is the skirt too frilly? Well, what do you think, Sensei? The, the skirt is too frilly, isn't it? No, the skirt is great! It has the perfect amount of frill, and it's perfect for you, Yuzu. S sensei uh, That's not... I'm... Ah, uh. <laughs> oh, precious, precious girls! Next up, Otis. Huh? Otis? Does it not fit, Otis? Oh no. N no, it is because, it is because I am not yet ready to wear a maid uniform. It is Nehru's uniform. I, I cannot escape. <laughs> oh, you, that's a bold choice, uh, choosing Nehru's uniform. Let's just hope she never finds out about this. <laughs> I, I really thought we could get through to her. Well, people can't usually overcome phobias like that. Although I don't know if there's a name for a fear of maid uniforms. <laughs> Poor Otis! <laughs> oh god. A fear of maid uniforms? Y yes. Otis still gets anxious around maid uniforms, as you can see. We thought becoming friends with Nehru would help, but I think the association is too deep. Yeah, clearly! Oh god! <laughs> I won't stand for it! We have to help her! Heroes can always overcome their fears! It's just a piece of clothing! But I... All heroes have fears, Otis, but true heroes face them. Heroes never give up, no matter how tough the quest. S sensei is correct, but but no, no, there there is no but. I will overcome my fear because that is what a hero would do. I will complete my quest. Oh, Otis! Oh! <laughs> Why is she so cute? Oh! I, I do not know how I feel about wearing this uniform. You did it, Otis! And that's what matters! 
<laughs> I am okay. I am still the same, even though I am wearing a maid uniform. Yep, you're our artist. That's ah, true, God. <sighs> Thank you for showing me. Oh, precious child, you're so adorable. That this uniform is just a uniform and that I will always be Otis, hero. I knew you could do it, Otis. I'm so proud of you. You're amazing as usual, Otis. It must have been hard, Otis. G good job. Oh, let's go. You did so well, Otis. <laughs> Everyone cheered Otis for overcoming her fear. <laughs> Let's go! And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> uh, I think we're skipping forward a little bit. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, this is not how the story ends. <laughs> uh, why does everyone's uniforms have a double OO call sign? Oh, that? Well, Nehru's uniform was the only one that fit us. We know they're Nehru's because of this note Akane left on them. Just in case the president grows. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh, Akane, that's savage! That's both, like, preparing for, like, every scenario, but, like, oh my god! <laughs> Savage! Oh! <laughs> Akane! Good God! <laughs> oh! Uh, we, we were able to distribute Nehru's various fares amongst the four of us. The other uniforms were too big. Karin is very tall. You know, that's actually a fair point. Kadeen is very tall. I'm sure it won't matter since everyone is here and Sensei has given us the thumbs up. Let us begin our adventure. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Even with Sensei here, I... Uh, is there a locker I can crawl into? Oh God. <laughs> Oh god, Yuzu, I'm sorry. And so, our adventure to complete the game development department's new quest. Oh, this garden is so pretty. Well, our quest is beginning now. <laughs> it is more of a misadventure. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, no, Midori's uh, gonna be working overtime. Very true. All right, y'all. We'll start this uh, very questionable adventure. Oh, God. <laughs> A bizarre adventure. Um, Am I the only one who wasn't expecting this to be so intense? Ah. Uh, Maybe we can tell them we had an emergency. We're already here. We can't just back out now. Oh, Yuzu, no! Don't collapse! Y Yuzu! Uh, hello? Talk to me, please. Well, that's one member down. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. I have been waiting for you. You're not late, not early. Perfectly punctual. Midori, look! That's the person! Uh, are you the client? We were told this was a cleaning job. What will we be cleaning today? Straight to business. I like it. 
My responsibilities lie with the management, distribution, and security of fine art. Often, I handle precious auction items. Your responsibility will be to provide security and protection for the artwork. I have a particularly priceless piece that will be bid on in an upcoming auction. Se security? <laughs> Pr protection? I, I thought this was a cleaning job. It is to my understanding that cleaning is a code word for undercover agent work for the CNC, is it not? And there you have it. The truth comes out. <laughs> what? Wait, really? How would I know? Don't ask me. There, there's no way. What, what are we going to do? It'll be okay. We'll just improvise our way through this. Uh, um, <clears throat> you're, uh, correct. CNC at your service. You really should be presenting all the terms of the job during the initial interview. It, yes, I'm sorry for that. I, I only thought that I should exercise discretion. It seemed unwise to solicit a secret agent so openly in public. But I would just like to say I'm thrilled you accepted my request. Fate must have intervened. I'm a bit of a fan, <laughs> to be honest. To think I got to see you in opera. I, to see I get to. Excuse me, tongue tie. To think I get to see you operate in person. Well. Oh god. <laughs> that only raises the stakes a little bit. Everyone knows the CNC is made up of elite specialists who are second to none in their ability to get the job done. Oh, please don't worry. I understand there are secrets of the trade you can't reveal to just anyone. A paltry cleaning job like this hardly requires your full effort. I do hope I'm not asking too much, but I wanted to see a small sample of your skills in action. Uh, <laughs> um, this doesn't seem good. <laughs> this seems like the stakes are going up way too much. Okay, that's it. We have to come clean. T do you want to die? Because Nehru will literally kill us if she finds out. N no, obviously I don't want to die, but we're hardly secret agents. It's okay. Just follow my lead. All right, what do you got in store, Momoi? Now, where shall we begin? I get it now. This is a job change quest. I will officially change to CNC. <laughs> uh, Otis? What? What are you saying? The CNC class I pick is. She's thinking through her options. Who is it that she's going to pick? <laughs> ah, and there it is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's okay, Otis. It's okay. <laughs> oh! Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who is Otis gonna pick? Hey! <laughs> My class is a light attribute, single target DPS. And now, as a DPS, I will snipe that boulder. <laughs> hi <-ya! laughs> Blinding light! love that she changed how she fires specifically because she wants to emulate Karin. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh. 
Wow, uh, that boulder must have been at least 800 meters away. It's just dust now. I did hear that CNC's sniper could hit a fly from across Kivotos. That must be you. But if you don't mind me asking, I, I thought snipers were supposed to be a bit more, um, subtle. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you try to be a sniper with a railgun. <laughs> Um, uh, not this one. <laughs> Her MO is complete suppression at any range. Across uh, Kivotos, even. <laughs> Just like you said. Exactly! It's her favorite catchphrase. No witnesses, no problems. I see. C and C certainly operates under an um, interesting philosophy. Well, thank you. Please continue your introductions. Who is the quiet one hiding behind everyone? Oh, Yuzu, no! <laughs> oh, God. What? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Stop panicking, Yuzu. You're good at a lot of things. You really are. Like, uh, hiding. You're great at hiding. Oh! I've got it. Got it? Got what? Just come with me. Well. <laughs> Hello? Um, is anyone here? I, I came back after five minutes, as you asked. What? What's this? Has this box always been here? I'm sorry, that box really got me. <laughs> Don't uh, move. <laughs> Amazing. How did you manage to get behind me? You slipped completely past my defenses. You must be the member who specializes in infiltration. Not only do you move with a little grace, your inexplicable luck can get you as far as you can dream. Oh, she's Asuna! <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to be so small. That must make missions very difficult. Or, I suppose that's exactly what makes your stealth so lethal. Yes, that, that's exactly what I always say. Then, of course, we have our famed strategist. I've always admired how effectively you guide your team through any unexpected turn of events. That must be you. M me? A, s a strategist? <laughs> uh, I, I guess so. Uh, yes, that's me. And lastly... If you've got something to say, uh, just say it. Yes, the little menace. Since we've met, you've more than lived up to your reputation. I look forward to working with you. I've told you I'm nothing like... <laughs> Unfortunately, you are going to have to be like Nehru for today, Momoi. So, I'm, uh... I'm curious, does an estate of this scale not have their own security? Why did you come to C&C? You must have some measure of security here. I will not lie, my estate is equipped with state-of-the-art security and detail. Despite that, I had a need for the C&C's specific services. Oh. Because, you see, I have received a calling card from the Benevolent Thief. The Benevolent Thief? Nani? Who might this be? Oh god, this music's so good. <laughs> Alright. Let's go learn more about 
What on earth this calling card could be? <laughs> I don't think those two words go together. This is very true. <laughs> Who or what is the benevolent thief? Your question is who? She is one of the infamous seven prisoners and a renowned thief. Ah, at last, we're meeting potentially another member of the seven prisoners. Uh, the seven prisoners has been referenced before in regards to Wakamo who is one of the seven prisoners. So the benevolent thief is another one of the seven prisoners, which doesn't bode well because Wakamo is quite a menace. <laughs> ah, all right, all righty. Isn't Wakamo one of the seven? It's me and Sensei over here. <laughs> our, our minds are aligning. Isn't Wakamo one of the seven prisoners? Indeed, the Fox of Calamity is known for the blazing inferno and devastation she wreaks wherever she goes. And the benevolent thief earned her notoriety, sealing anything and everything her heart desired. <laughs> uh, what a weird name. And what kind of thief tells everyone that they're a thief? <laughs> Momoe. <laughs> you have a rather cavalier attitude about the matter. But please do not underestimate the benevolent thief. She has always successfully followed through on her calling cards. Although some would say it's only because the card's riddles are so cryptic and convoluted that the object is stolen before they can ever be solved. Oh, I see. She likes playing games, this benevolent thief. Bum, 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 bum! We will not underestimate our new enemy. It is time for a new quest. Fight the benevolent thief. Yay, Otis! Let's go! Could, could we see the calling card, please? I am glad you asked. I brought it with me today. Here, the calling card. Well, 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 I'm interested to see what it says. Two travelers meet 22 times a day. Precisely two, but an unclear 20, a half step behind the frozen dance and Antikythera, no moonlight shines. The sad sword of opulence, never awarded to another, will be mine. What? What? <laughs> yeah, um, convoluted's a bit of an understatement. I understand your confusion. The benevolent thief's calling cards are all as muddled and indecipherable as this one. She claims to be better than other thieves, since she sends a warning ahead of time. But they're all just too cryptic. Even from the very first line, it makes no sense. What kind of travelers meet 22 times a day? Some? People might see each other over 20 times a day, right? I mean, we see each other all the time. <laughs> this is true, Momoy. <laughs> That's different from meeting someone 22 different times in one day. There's no way that would happen. <laughs> I do like the idea of 22 referring to arms of a clock. Y'all got some some good good ideas here. I'm intrigued. I have solved the puzzle. The travelers are NPCs. You can easily run into NPCs more than 20 times a day while doing your dailies. <laughs> Otis, you lovely, lovely person. <laughs> Otis, there's no daily quest NPCs in real life. But Yuzu is a daily quest NPC in my real life. I am able to meet her in the same spot every day, talk to her there, and she gives me quests. <laughs> I, I can't exactly say she's wrong. 
And she's not even trying to be mean. <laughs> God, I love this. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my God. Oh. We love you, Yuzu. <laughs> 22 times a day would make it roughly every hour or so. But one day is 24 hours. We are missing two hours. Hours? T time? Meitaro, do, do you have an analog clock? How did you know? We have a large clock hanging in the middle of the hall. Well, well, well. Could I look at it, please? That's no problem at all, but what interest could you have in a clock? Did you figure something out, Yuzu? Well, well, well! Let her cook. If I'm understanding correctly, this calling card... Oh, let's go, Yuzu! I was right. You you were right about the time? We could have checked our phones or something instead of coming all the way to the hall. <laughs> yes, Momo, oh boy, but it's a riddle. It's a riddle about what's here in this mansion. It it wasn't that. I I really needed to look at an actual analog clock. And now that I have, I think I solved the first part at least. Ooh! You did? What, what is it? Come on, spill. The two travelers that meet 22 times a day, I realized that was referring to the hands of a clock. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's why I needed an analog one. But Yuzu, I thought a day is 24 hours, not 22. You're right, Otis. But the hands of a clock only actually overlap 11 times throughout the day. So, 22. Good God, Yuzu! Good God, yeah, Yuzu, big brain moment! I'm so proud of you! The hour and the, the hour hand moves 0 0.5 degrees every minute, while the minute hand moves 6 degrees every minute. So they overlap at 12 o'clock two times a day, and the other 20 times are at awkward times of day. Yuzu! Yuzu! I'm so proud of you! They never overlap between 11 and 12 o'clock. I expect nothing less from C and C. Do you have any ideas on the rest of the calling card? Behind the frozen dance and Antikythera, no moonlight shines. The sad sword of opulence never awarded to another will be mine, right? And what did half-step mean? That must be another reference to the clock. A clock. A half-step on a clock would mean... Uh, oh! Like the half-hour mark! Oh my god! Game Development Club, y'all are cooking! Oh my god! Maybe this was fortunate that they took this job. <laughs> I feel like ZNC would be like, all right, we'll just wait for her to show up and then we'll blow her up. <laughs> hey, Yuzu, can you figure out a can you figure out at what time the hour and minute hands overlap after the half hour point? Between 5:27 and 7:38, I I think. That is when the thief will attempt to break in. Oh! Antikythera, no moonlight shines. What does that mean? Antikythera, Antikythera. <laughs> you know, y'all are right. If CNC was here, they probably still would have had a fine time because they would have had Asuna. <laughs> Asuna would have just been lucky. <laughs> I'm 
so proud of them, though. They're actually solving her, her calling card puzzle. Wait! Do you know something about Antikythera? N no. <laughs> I, I don't understand that portion at all. But I did just remember something about the sad sword of opulence. I believe it must be referring to a piece of art I'll be displaying at the exhibition. Well... It's this painting here. <laughs> oh my god, I love this event! Oh my god! This... I want this piece of art. Look at this. <laughs> Is that, is that a mouse king that's... <laughs> They're knighting a polar bear? <laughs> well, there it is. Our, our bear cameo. <laughs> this is amazing. This is so good. This is so good. Oh my god. This is amazing. So as I'm, I'm, I'm looking in, it does look like that's a mouse or a rat. It's got a very long um, beard, and then it's also got a very fuzzy cowl on its cape. <laughs> the Rat King is knighting this bear. <laughs> I know, right? I guess, I guess bear is knighted. That's pretty impressive. We need to start calling him Sir Bear. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, you me breathe, don't die on us. I am dying. <laughs> this is amazing. <sighs> Bear bowing to a vole. Good God. <laughs> Sir Bear the Great. Oh my God, this is amazing. This event is so good. <sighs> okay, I'm collecting myself. I'm collecting myself. This is amazing. What? is this image it's an old knighting ceremony traditionally a sword is used when bestowing a knighthood so it's an unfortunate sword because it can't leave its painting and it can never be awarded to anyone else it's a bit metaphorical but it fits the description oh my gosh the benevolent thief has some very good taste <laughs> Trying to steal this absolute masterpiece. <laughs> oh my god. I think it makes sense. Hmm. Midori's worried about this, though. This is one of our most highly anticipated pieces for the upcoming auction. What would I have done without you? I would have never guessed they were intending to steal something so priceless. Are we positive that they're going to steal this one, though? Midori didn't seem so sure. I will leave the protection of this art piece in your capable hands for the remainder of your time here. Just this one? You're not worried about the other pieces? Of course not! We've solved the Benevolent Thief's riddle and know exactly where she'll strike next. Man, you were just setting all kinds of flags. <laughs> I don't know, Meitoro. I feel like I feel like she's gonna try to steal something else. Although this painting is fantastic. <laughs> I'm sure she didn't expect to meet her match in the C and C. I uh, I guess not. But but. Oh no, Midori's got some reservations. Oh no. Glad to be of service. The first step of this quest has been completed. Our next objective is to protect the artwork. Okay. Actually, perhaps I could expand the scope of the next uh, quest slightly. What do you mean? I would like for CNC to oversee the security of this estate for the next three days, starting tomorrow. But we're we're not a hundred percent sure our solution to the calling card is right. Well, yes, but in the event we are incorrect and the thief targets another item, it wouldn't be a problem, would it? 
man, you better be paying these girls for this. <laughs> And paying them well, you're asking them to guard this place for three days. The benevolent thief may be our most elusive thief known to Kivotos, but I'm sure she's nothing against seasoned agents of your caliber. <laughs> I would appreciate it immensely. And of course, he will be compensated handsomely. All right. All right. There. That's what I needed to hear, that you're actually paying these girls. I need them to be paid well for this. Would this amount be agreeable? <laughs> oh, it's apparently quite a bit. Well, well, well. There, there's no way, right? <laughs> how, how deep is this client's pocket? Everyone could have their own personal PlayStation Pro and a Z-Box Series X twice over. Good God, okay. Um, that's a decent amount of money. Okay. Okay. All right. M me, Dori, wh what do we do? I, I don't have an answer to everything, and especially not this. Well, it's worth a shot, I guess. They're overwhelmed by the amount. I have to intervene quickly. We need a moment to discuss everything privately, if you don't mind. Of course, please go ahead. I presented you with quite a bit of information. Ah! Good save, Sensei. I, I needed a second to breathe. This has totally spiraled out of control. What? We can't handle one of the seven prisoners. <laughs> I want to go home. I want my cabinet, my computer. What is wrong? This is a very simple quest, is it not? Okay. <laughs> Let's take it one step at a time. Do you want to keep going? If you want, we can come clean and go home if this is too much pressure, y'all. What, what would happen if we quit? The usual procedure would be to file an official complaint. It would be submitted to seminar to review and the game development department and CNC would be involved. Oh God. <laughs> and Nehru would find out and kill us. Please don't remind me. I am still confused. Momoi, you have always told me it is our duty to keep our word and finish a quest once it has started. But we should quit and not fulfill our hero's duty? N n no, Otis. Uh, everything you're saying is right. But there are some things even heroes can't handle. <laughs> Okay, when the quest is overwhelming, it can be easy to forget the real job. <laughs> T sensei What? What does that mean? Our job isn't to fight this thief, let alone catch them. Have you been paying attention? That that's exactly what it is. <laughs> well, wait. I think I get what Sensei is trying to say. It's right there in the print. All we were asked to do was to make sure nothing gets stolen. Well, that's a fair point. <laughs> Look, everyone, we've come so far already. And you heard Meitaro. They've got an awesome security system already. Worst comes to worse, Sensei will bail us out. I don't I don't know if you want to completely rely on me, but I'll I'll do my best. <laughs> We don't need to fight the thief or even catch them. We just need to protect the artwork. It's not impossible. <laughs> Thank you all. I will do my best. <laughs> I have a bad th feeling that things are going to fall to, to me in the end. Oh, God. We fought against, uh, fought with, and even fought for CNC. We've done a lot and grown a lot. If we can tap into all those experiences, then 
maybe we could make it work. <laughs> Just maybe. It'll take a lot of hard work, but there's a big reward at the end of it all. And with that amount of money, we could... We might be able to... Oh, Yuzu's cooking. Mmm. Thinking of some nice ideas over here. <laughs> Sounds like we're decided, right? Uh, do you... Do we really think this is a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> think about it. If we pull this off, we get to rub it in Neru's face later. Mmm. Momoi, is that a really good idea? I mean, just imagine, C and C are gonna be the ones who owe us one. I believe we will succeed. After all, our party has the sensei buff. Bless you, Otis, you sweet, sweet girl. Oh my God, she's so precious. Good God. I'm happy to hear your decision. Thank you, everyone. Then, as agreed upon, CNC will manage the security of my estate and the art within it for the next three days. Well, I, I guess I guess we're gonna try it, y'all. If you don't mind me asking, why three days? For the next three days, I will be holding an event here. The first day will be for will be for guest reception, the second for gallery viewings, and the auction will be the grand finale. You expected the thief would strike during the event, which is why you hired extra security. Precisely. Ah, and I would appreciate it if you would help out with the guest reception on the first day as well. It, huh? The, the reception? As I said, consider it undercover work as you secure the perimeter. I, uh, it will help you gather information as well. One of the guests could be related to the thief. An interesting thought. I'm not, not entirely sure if that's actually going to be the case, though. <laughs> okay. All right. What about the painting? Wasn't our job just to protect one painting? Now we're running security and a reception? Something just seems off. Oh no. I don't like this. Midori, I don't like where your instincts are going. Is this a setup? Uh, are we getting set up in some way? Is this like revenge against C and C? Oh, I'm a little scared. Oh, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> oh no, Midori! Midori. What's gonna happen to us, Midori? <laughs> uh, <kuyoshi>. Okay. <laughs> Hello there. Hop. <laughs> Pion. Okay. Oh my god, Otis, you're so cute. Hi there, Otis. You're busy cleaning. Yes, I am. Because I am a hero maid. <laughs> what is a hero maid, Otis? An advanced job. A merging of the strongest. Only someone who has mastered both the hero... <laughs> both the class of hero and maid can evolve to this form. Bless you, Otis. <laughs> So wonderful. Oh my god. Otis really admires maids now. This is wonderful. Oh my god. I am busy cleaning, but what are you doing up so early, Sensei? Proper sleep, rest, and food is very important. Please take care of yourself. Sensei isn't invincible like me. Momoi and the others, and I, are used to staying up all night playing video games. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sweet! <laughs> that's so funny! I appreciate her, like, looking out for us and also admitting that they just constantly stay up. <laughs> also, thank you all for the gifted memberships. Y'all are very sweet! 
enjoy yourselves. All your energy is giving me energy, Otis. You know, all this being said, Momoi does need to stop keeping everyone up all night. <laughs> oh, God. You know, it's an interesting point. Does Otis even need to sleep? I don't know. I hope she does get some rest. Uh, sensei you yawned. You must go get some rest and leave the cleaning to us. It is 5.23 in the morning, after all. Are you almost done with mopping the floor, Otis? Would you mind helping with dusting? I am finished, Yuzu. Now transferring to dusting mode. Man, this is really early in the morning. <sighs> so sleepy. Wait! That means that both Otis and Yuzu are um, pretty good at getting up in the mornings. I'm actually impressed. <laughs> the poor twins that were so sleepy. <laughs> Everyone's got their work cut out for them so early, too. Well, uh, the original job was to stop the thief, and the calling card said she would come between 5.20 and 7.40 a.m. Oh no! They have to get up early to anticipate the thief! <sighs> Precious girls, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's so, that's so sad. Uh, I was gonna say, this is like getting up early and going to work or going to school. Man, some of this is so early though. My deepest condolences to those of you who have to get up before like 7 a.m. That's too early, man. Honestly, before eight's kind of early. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're, we're gonna do our best. I'll make y'all some tea or something. Meitaro just added the cleaning on top since we were already up. We are being paid extra for it, so I can't really complain, but I'm so sleepy. Good God, some of you all have to get up so early for work. I know some of you work night shifts too, so like everything is just borked. <laughs> My deepest condolences. I hope you all get some good rest. Time passed from morning to afternoon without a single incident. The guests began arriving and the party began on schedule, but the job was even more involved than we were originally led to believe. Oh no. You, my glass is still empty. Perhaps you didn't hear me the first time. Huh? Ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh. Uh, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I'll, I'll refill it right away. Ha! <laughs> you do well to keep in mind that your actions reflect upon your employer. What is he saying? I'm not even a real maid, you jerk. I know you're just temp hires, but does your agency not teach you even the basics to not be able to fill a glass? E excuse me, but your glass is full. Do you think I'm an idiot? I know what an empty glass looks like, and it's like this. Uh, oh, w wait, w when did someone refill my glass? I, I didn't even notice it. God, this is horrible. So essentially, in order to keep their cover, they have to pretend to be real maids, but they're being treated like garbage. This makes me so sad. Hey, y'all, this, this should be a good PSA to treat people with respect and kindness in their positions. Like, wait staff and support staff are people. Treat them like people. <laughs> oh, God, these poor girls. I want to I wanna go and give these guests a piece of my mind. <sighs> what? What the heck? Did, did you see that, Midori? I, I did, but I don't know how it happened. Oh! A newcomer. A familiar looking newcomer. In an outfit we, we might not have seen. Oh, Otis, I'm so sorry. Ah, there, there are too many guests. I, I am going to be squished like a slime mob. 
You there. There's a plate on the floor. Thankfully, it isn't broken, but and I didn't injure myself, but I was still quite shocked. Ah, I, I am so sorry. I am trying. I, but I am being squished. My girls! My girls! PSA, eat the rich. Yes. <laughs> Oh, y'all are wonderful. We need to do something to help our poor girls over here. This is not part of the job description. This is so sad. How lazy. I insist you do your job and clean it. But, but, but. Oh. God. Oh? And our newcomer seems to be sweeping by. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I am sorry, but I, I must get through, guests. Oh, Otis! Oh, God. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, I promise. Huh? huh? I am confused. There is no plate. Do you have no eyes? The plate is right there. What? What? Who picked it up? I, uh, I was uh, only trying to criticize the event in an attempt to barter a better deal at the auction. How unfortunate. Oh, I see. You were being an asshole on purpose. Well, listen, you, you cannot. <sighs> These people. Unacceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable. I got some words for all of you. You aren't going to get anything good at the auction. Are your feet made of lead? I can't send a cold dish to service. And you, do you call this grilling? The sea bass is so raw, it might jump back alive. What? Are you making them cook? What's wrong with you maids? If you want your money, work for it. Uh, you're right. Uh, sorry, I I'm so sorry. Sorry doesn't deliver food. There's so many dishes waiting to go out. You'd think we were holding Thanksgiving dinner back here. Man, so essentially what I'm learning is this is a toxic workplace. And the reason why he didn't already have some staff is because they keep quitting. <laughs> like, surely, right? No one would stay. Like, these are terrible working conditions. This is horrible. Just gotta hire temp workers. <sighs> this is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. I got some words for Meitaro. I got some words here. Hurry up and, and where, where did all the food go? I delivered everything. What would you like me to do next? What, what do you mean? You delivered all those dishes? Such things are child's play for a capable maid. Toki, Toki to the rescue. That thing said, Toki, why aren't you wearing your maid outfit? <laughs> why did you switch? <laughs> beyond, beyond, beyond. Uh, I'm very happy for the help though, Toki. God knows we needed it. <sighs> you, you, you said you're a, a maid, not a, a bunny? Well, uh, <laughs> I, I guess that's all I needed. <laughs> you all, you can all go now. Not you, kitchen staff. Front and center. So sad. I'm so sad for everyone. Um, it's been a while. Kira. <laughs> peace sign. God, I should have made myself a peace sign. Ah, <laughs> uh, Himari has taught her well. <laughs> pizu, pizu. Toki, you're wonderful. What? It, it, don't say peace sign when you're holding up peace signs. It's unnecessary. <laughs> uh, beyond peace. <laughs> so that's what happened. Oh. 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 Nehru did find out. Yes, she informed me of the benevolent thief's plans and asked me to secure the mansion. 
Although I did receive another mission as well. Oh, this actually is nice. Toki got a mission for herself. She's able to come out and actually help out here. Yeah, it, it does make me wonder how much Nero knows. <laughs> this might not be good. <sighs> Regardless, I'm really pleased with this unexpected meeting, Sensei. The pleasure is all mine, Toki. <laughs> uh, thank you, Sensei. You know, before I left, the other members told me something. They said, you're the only one we can rely on for this job, Toki. We trust you'll bring back good news and results befitting a CNC agent. Complete your objective at any cost. No tool or need is too expensive. Just submit an expense report to Seminar's accounting. <laughs> God damn it, CNC. I feel like this is both a very sweet thing for them to finally send Toki on a mission, but also, unfortunately, poor Toki is going to get the brunt of Yuka's wrath. <laughs> I see what you're up to, Nehru. <laughs> I see what's going on here. <sighs> I'll have to have a talk with him after this. <laughs> poor Yuka. Poor Toki. I think Toki will be very good at, for this role, though. I know we don't say this enough, but we all have faith in you. <laughs> that is both sweet and... <sighs> I swear. <laughs> <laughs> and that happy little smirk tells me you were very excited to tell me this. <laughs> yes, I was. I was also told that the benevolent thief always sends a calling card before the actual heist. Bless you, Toki. <laughs> oh, God. If you don't mind, I believe I can be of assistance. I feel like you're leaving out something important. Um, there's been something on my mind. Yes. What is it? Why are you wearing a bunny costume? <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, Sensei. B because of what? Why are you disappointed? You should know this already. Personally, I've studied CNC's previous infiltration cases, especially the Odyssey Maritime School cruise infiltration. I have concluded that a bunny costume must be the operation uniform for CNC infiltration work. Toki! <laughs> Bless your heart. Bless your heart. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. You wear that bunny suit. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> oh god, she got the totally wrong idea about that mission. Oh. Oh, oh no. That situation was entirely different, Toki. <laughs> but I guess it's too late now. It's all right. At the end of the day, Toki, you'll always be you. And that's a good thing. Your words are kind, but the heavy sigh afterwards sounded very defeated. No, you're just imagining things, I promise. But I will take your words at face value. I believe we have a more pressing issue to deal with at hand. Bless you, Toki. <laughs> These poor girls. <laughs> of course, Yuzu's in the box. Don't look here. No one's home. Yeah, um, Toki, we really do need your help. What do I do, Sensei? <sighs> it does make sense to ask your teacher about bewildering situations, but I'm sorry to say that teachers don't always have the answers. I see. In that case, may I ask just what is happening here? 
I, I'm not afraid of you. I, I can take you on in a fight, a, a fighting game. I guess this is the first time that they have um, been working side by side since uh, lots of things happened. <laughs> Be careful, Momoi. Last time she started losing, she changed classes and cheated. <laughs> we, we don't want to lose Addis again, but... Okay, okay, everyone calm down, calm down, calm down. The Abby Eshu battle suit is nowhere around here. It's okay. Let me explain. She's on our side. <laughs> She's not here to take Otis away, I promise. Things are changed. Things are different now. You accepted a request for CNC, which is why you asked me to find you maid uniforms. I see. It, it, is it all over for us, Momoi? <laughs> I, I don't know. What do we do? Is Neru gonna kill us for real this time? Ah! <laughs> These poor girls. I won't report you. It is not over and Neru won't kill you. I'm here to finish my mission. Nothing more. Oh. Pachi Pachi Toki. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh. Although, I had no idea the game development department would be a part of that mission. Okay, okay, so this is good. Nehru doesn't know. Nehru had just heard that the uh, benevolent thief was going to be here. <laughs> I almost called them the phantom thief, but we're, we're going to ignore that. The benevolent thief. <laughs> so it looks like Nehru doesn't know, so maybe we're okay. Maybe we're all right. Are you sure? Um... We kind of acted completely on our own under your name. Yes, I'm sure. If my fellow members can go on a mission without me, I can do as I please without them. Oh, Toki! That suddenly became very personal. <laughs> uh, that being said, we lost track of time. It's 7.38? Oh! What's going on? The lights went out. Oh, no. What is all this? Meitaro? Meitaro? P please keep calming. Uh, please keep calm, everyone. This is just a temporary blackout. The lights will come back momentarily. A foolish hope. Hope. Oh, snap, y'all. I think that she's here. The more value an object holds, the more desperately society seeks to own it, to control it. The elite protect these valuable items so that it stays in the hands of the worthy themselves. But is that the way it should be? <laughs> no! If something really is so valuable, then it should be freely enjoyed by the masses. Oh, snap! She's like Robin Hood! <laughs> I... Oh no, I think I like her. <laughs> I think I like her a lot. It... It couldn't be. Are we... Are we on the wrong side? Sh should we be helping her? <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Well, the, the rumors whisper of an elusive thief. While others sneer at me as a mere criminal. On the day we are born, we are pure, without titles, without labels, and so we accept the ones others gift us. I too have been graciously bestowed a title by you members of society. Yes, I have embraced the name you have gifted me. Oh snap, oh snap, oh snap, the zoom in. Oh, there she is. Oh no, I love her. <laughs> oh no, I love her so much. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh no. It is nice to meet you. I am the benevolent thief. Oh no, I love you. <laughs> benevolent thief. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I, I, I love what you're doing. I'm sorry that we were hired to oppose you. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, everyone, really quick before we hop in, I'm pouring myself some more tea. We're, we're gonna hop into the rest of us. She is so cool. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Yumi, your moral compass is leaving your body. Listen, listen. <laughs> She's faced though. <laughs> oh God. All right, y'all. Everyone, get yourself some drinks. I'm gonna get myself some tea here, and then uh, we're we're gonna hop into this. That was good. <laughs> oh, Y'all are wonderful. <laughs> let's hop into this. Mm, let's go! The perfect day for theft! But benevolent? Thief? Then that's... An enemy encounter has been triggered. Oh, well, well, well. Oh God, I think we might be on the wrong side here, but we were also hired to fight this lady. Oh God, T Toki, she she's already up the stairs. Yeah, um, she seems quite skilled. Oh, I love her outfit. She looks so good. Oh, oh snap. Yeah, Toki's running. <laughs> Toki's running after her. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, Akira, uh, the benevolent thief seems quite tall. Your movements are intentional, confident. It's beautiful. I, I don't think my ability to move my limbs has much bearing on the current situation. <laughs> don't take... Don't take compliments often, do you? Should I thank you then? <laughs> yes, thank her! Thank her! <laughs> Alas, you're a brute with no appreciation for art. <laughs> I am really not following. <laughs> I, I came here to ask you something. Do you have any information on an item called the crown what makes you think i would because you are a thief <laughs> no i seem to have angered you am i missing an honorific of some sort <laughs> oh because she didn't call her the benevolent thief no you've said enough Oh, snap! All right, well, here we are, y'all. All right, let's get our team ready. Let's do it. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's hop into it, y'all. Yoroshiku Asuna! Let's go! <laughs> That's true, was that intentional sass? Toki is learning. Kimari is teaching her well. <laughs> Like, she has to be getting that from Himadi, right? <gasps> oh! Ooh, special cutscene! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, she looks amazing! Ooh! Alright. So this does damage in a circle. Okay, sure, let's try it! Let's go. Get him, Yuzu! Well, <laughs> ah, we might we might be a little higher level. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we we did good. We did good. <laughs> Metal Gear Yuzu. Good job.
job, good job, Yuzu. Huh. <laughs> I'm impressed, stranger. Thank you, Lord Thief. I hope the addition of the honorific curtails your anger. <laughs> Toki, why are you so good? <laughs> you think you have me in your grasp, don't you? Oh, oh no, a, a trap? Oh, well. Oh no, Toki, don't go down. We need you. We need you. We need you. <sighs> Rabbits should pay attention to their surroundings or they'll be caught by a predator. No. Oh, backup has arrived. All right. Did you think you'd gotten rid of us? We're a lot stronger than we look, al although we are a little late. <laughs> It's okay, Toki runs really fast. Oh my, the adorable maids are your reinforcements. Uh, adorable? I mean... <laughs> Momoi, don't let the enemy sweet talk you. <laughs> You're not leaving this estate with anything. Your courage is impressive, I will say. But how far can you go on simply courage? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> you lost your chance the moment you lost the element of surprise. While your courage shines beautifully, your movements leave much to be desired. Directionless, reactive. Oh god, that might be true about us. But it's a good thing we're not your opponent. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Blinding light! Let's go, Otis! Let's go! How do you like a railgun? You very, um, based benevolent thief. <laughs> Ugh! Way to go, Otis! Uh, oop, oops, uh, we, we didn't blow the mansion up, did we? <laughs> you know, that's actually a pretty legitimate concern. Nope. I am a light attribute, single target DPS. My blinding light super focuses on just the target. Holy cow, Otis! That's, that's so good! You, I'm so impressed! <laughs> I don't know how you did it! But you, you focused your railgun on one target? That's, that's really impressive. You really did change your class. <laughs> oh dang. Well, well, well. So, they can still move in that case. Well. Well, well, well. Oh, Yuzu, let's go! <laughs> I can't miss from here. Huh? Oh, snap! Now, grab her! Go, Moboy! Oh, let's go! Oh, no! What? What? Kuyashi! Uh, <laughs> what? What happened? Look, look up! She went through the ceiling! Allow me to amend my initial judgment. All of you are very impressive. I apologize for the late introductions, but who are all of you? I am Callsign04 of CNC, Asuma Toki. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm impressed. She, she, uh, she escaped pretty easily there. It couldn't be C and C in the flesh. What reason could you have to be helping Meitaro? But well, uh, we we got a request, and the compensation was so big. <laughs> Wanted fly stations. <laughs> Excuse me, Mamoy. 
You were thinking about fly stations this entire time? Don't listen to her. We just, uh, we just wanted to stop the thief. <laughs> Very believable. And you? Why are you stealing art? And who might this be? Ah, you needn't say. Your face isn't unfamiliar to me. You are Shale's sensei, are you not? Your arrival at Kivotos happened to coincide with the escape of the seven prisoners from the Corrections Bureau. Yes, I see. Don't think you'll get away with this benevolent thief. There's no escape for you this time. Oh, the backup security. Oh, wait, don't shoot. We're right here. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, no. M Midori? Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh? Am I falling? Oh no! <laughs> oh no, and she got away. Great work! <gasps> Wait! Did she... Did she just save her? Wow, that benevolent thief saved Midori. <gasps> this is what I'm saying. The benevolent thief is fantastic, y'all! Mi Midori! Midori! Are, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, for real, can we switch sides? Can we please be on that side? <laughs> y yeah, th thanks, but why would she save me? What reason could she have? Because she's based. We should join her side. <laughs> I have a grasp on the situation now. How absolutely thrilling. Allow me to leave you with some parting words. Oftentimes, you must look past the superficial to delve into the beauty within. I look forward to our next meeting, CNC. Oh, I love her! <laughs> How'd she get away so fast? Is that a note on the ground? It's a calling card saying that the previous card will still be fulfilled? Big words for someone who just ran away. That's all it says. Also, when did she write this? <laughs> Does she just run around with stacks of these cards all the time? I mean, she has to, right? <laughs> I have found you at last. What in the world were you all doing? Huh? What? Well, uh... All of this was actually part of a secret faint operation. <laughs> good save. Good save. I, I think I think this is a, a good direction to go. S sensei Oh, I believe I'm owed a bit more detail than that. Well, listen, so here's the thing. Here's here's what happened. I see. So your fifth member joined at a later time, just as you had planned in advance. You say it was nearly a success as well. I apologize. She got away at the last minute. There's no need to apologize. I'm impressed you were able to force the benevolent thief into a retreat. If we're lucky, perhaps you scared her off for good, and we can put this all behind us. I... I wouldn't be so sure about that. Meichoro, what is the meaning of this? Explain yourself. If I had known the benevolent thief of all criminals planned to attack, I would have never attended. Now, now, please calm yourselves. Everything has already been sorted out. Look around you. We were able to repel the scoundrel with no problems, were we not? I felt no need to concern you, seeing as our backs were already being safely guarded by the best of the best. 
C and C. C and C. That famous secret organization with top ranking agents. I suppose that explains how they dealt with the thief so quickly. Thank you again for your hard work. I'll need to excuse myself to help guide the guests to their rooms. I think there's been quite enough excitement for one night. Please, feel free to take this time to formulate a security plan for the next few days. Good night. Okay. I'm not liking this, though. I'm still on the Switch Sides plan. <laughs> uh, Toki hasn't stopped glaring at us this whole time. Oh no, Toki! S sensei do, do you think Toki's mad at us? Hey there, Toki. Let's take a deep breath together. Forget it! You can give me menacing looks all you want! I... I'm not scared! But, but, but also, uh, thank you. <laughs> you really helped us out, so I thought I'd say thanks. I understand now. Thank you, Game Development Department. Oh! Huh? What? What? What, what the? Oh! I received your help, so I am thanking you, just as you did. Toki! <laughs> oh! That's so wonderful. But, but if you just wanted to thank us, why were you giving us the stink eye? Well, I, I didn't know what I was supposed to say in a situation like this one. Oh, Toki! <laughs> She's got resting Toki face. <laughs> she always looks like she's nonplussed, but really she's she's struggling internally. <laughs> Bless you, Toki. You you weren't glaring at us? You were just trying to figure out how to thank us? Y yes, I must thank you again, Momoi. You put it into words for me. Oh. <laughs> With that handled, we should address the current situation. It's become more complicated than originally thought. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I propose we switch sides. Who's with me? I get it now. So you received a mission to stop the benevolent thief too. Yes, although that was not the only mission I received. Oh. Are, are you gonna tell Nehru we messed up this mission? N no. In fact, I have considered your efforts to be helpful so far. Moving forward, we will be conducting a joint operation between CNC and the Game Development Department. Is that really okay? Yes. The other members aren't here to dispute it anyways. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Why does this feel like a recurring theme? <laughs> I'm glad y'all are on board with switching sides. Maybe we can convince them too. For now, it seems like they're gonna keep fighting against her though. I understand, there's a lot on the line here. Because it is. Does this mean we are friends, Toki? <gasps> Honest! Asking the real questions. Oh. Oh my gosh, yes! Please join my party. I would like for us to complete this quest together as party members. Oh! What? What? I, I don't. Oh, is that not allowed? N no, w well, yes, I, I did say next time, so yes. I'll join your party. Yay! We are now friends, Toki. And the game development department, too. <laughs> Thank you for saying so. Oh my god, this is so precious. Bum, 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 bum. 
A new player has joined the party. Oh! Did she just go to hug her? Oh my god! Oh my god! But, but please don't hug me, and without warning. I love these girls so much. They are so precious. Oh my god. Yes, hug Toki all the time. This makes me so happy. Toki has gone through so much. She deserves so... All of them have. All of them have gone through so much. Hugs for everyone. Oh. oh! And then she gave her a pat pat. <laughs> my heart. Her head is the perfect height to pat. It's strangely nice. My heart cannot take this. My heart cannot take this. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so wonderful. You, you really think this is gonna be okay, Momoi? Well, well, we're talking about Addis, you know. I'm happy Addis got through to her for both Addis and Toki's sakes. <laughs> Precious daughters, they're so good. Toki became an honorary party member and official friend of the game development department. <laughs> and all was good and well for these newly met friends. Hold on, hold on. I think we're skipping forward a bit here. <laughs> Narrator. Narrator. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> I know this is so cute. My heart. <sighs> okay. All right, y'all. This is wonderful. <laughs> oh, God. This is so good. Okay, okay. With the power of friendship. Let's do this. <laughs> God, I'm so happy that they hugged. That makes me so happy. After an eventful first day, we had hoped the second one would run a little more smoothly. Oh no, I feel like it's not gonna run smoothly. And there's the painting. So this is the painting that will be auctioned off tomorrow. I intend to bid. What about you? I can only say that it depends on the day's atmosphere. Oh well well. Despite everything, it does seem like everyone is still looking forward to the auction. I still hate all of them. They were so rude. Being rude to my precious development girls! These these precious game dev girls have tried so hard. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Good work out there, Momoi. Seriously. We've come so far. I almost wanted to see it through to the end, just out of spite. It's what's keeping me going right now. If that makes sense anyway. It does make sense. It does make sense. I'm sorry for getting you mixed up in all this, Sensei. No, I'm actually really glad that I came along. It's been a fresh, it's been a breath of fresh air in a way. You mean that? You better mean it or else. Because now I'm going to call you every time I need you to bail us out of another pickle. <sighs> That's fine. It's better if you just call me as opposed to waiting until things are terrible and it's harder to repair things. <laughs> uh, that being said, I, I might be taking that back, please. <laughs> oh! It must be her. What's happening? I wouldn't worry too much. I have heard that the benevolent thief may harm people's wallets, but there are never any casualties. Ah, you're, you're right. I suppose we can just, uh, sit back and enjoy the show. Oi! We're not here for your entertainment. Mm, these people. Don't tell Meitoro I said this, but it may be a little entertaining. <laughs> mm. Who are these robot men that are suspiciously quiet and watching things? I don't like this. 
No one's really panicking. Are they already used to it after yesterday? In that case. All right, y'all, it's time. Just like we planned. She will not lay a finger on the painting. I am guarding the top of the stairs. Oh no. Wait, but we're guarding the the beautiful knighting painting. What if what if it's actually a different painting? Oh no, I'm worried. <laughs> I don't want these girls to get yelled at, even though I want the benevolent thief to succeed. <laughs> Just give the command, and I can snipe any target. I'll be hidden, assessing the situation. I believe in all of you. We're gonna do this, y'all. Okay. All right. We're waiting. Waiting. It's so tense. She's not doing anything. Oh no. As we were all waiting, I felt a small marble bump into my foot. Against my better judgment, I picked up the marble. Hello, Sensei. Can you hear me? Who is this? This little marble is one of my favorite toys. It allows me to communicate with you and eavesdroppers can't hear us. Is this? Shh, ask no further. We have no time. I need to tell you. You are a pawn in a much larger board. We all are. Then who's moving the pieces? You'd know already if you manage to unravel my riddle. Either way, you'll find out soon enough. How regretful. It seems we've run out of time. I must make my way to my destination. You can choose to be the king's fool and continue your blind dance. Or you can choose to risk it all for the truth. Life is not but an endless series of these sorts of choices. Wouldn't you agree? She's gone. I wanted to tell her that I was on board. <laughs> I want to switch sides. I'm super on board. Thank goodness, we can see again. But what of the benevolent thief? She seems to have disappeared with the darkness. Perhaps it was just an innocent blackout? That or the security is just as effective as Meitaro touts. I don't know, y'all. Something fishy is going on here. Is something wrong, Sensei? Can you get everyone over here, please, Momoi? Huh? How come? What about our security job? That's exactly why. I'm also proud of y'all stealing paintings while the, the lights were out. That's good. Good on you. <laughs> I'm proud of you all. <laughs> Are you serious, Sensei? We're all being tricked, but by who? She didn't say who it was. She only said the answer was in the card's riddle. And we're just supposed to trust her? This is one of the seven prisoners we're dealing with. She could just be lying. She can't be completely bad. She saved me, Dori. And also she's really based. <laughs> She, she did do that, but maybe it was a spur of the moment thing. I don't know. What do we do, Sensei? So the seven, pres the seven prisoners are still students. I do want to hear her out. That's a very Sensei-like response. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I had something I wanted to bring up too, actually. Do you all remember when I read Behind Antikythera from the card? 
I thought Meitaro's response was a bit off. You're totally right! When we basically cracked the code, he was kind of dismissive about it. And I thought it was weird. He was so sure that one painting was all we needed to protect at first. I would like to report as well. I have not been able to find Meitaro for a really long time. I've been surveilling the hall, the front gate, the windowsill, and I've seen no sign of Meitaro. So no one has seen him. That's weird. Did he just leave today's security to us and bounce? You're right. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen Meitaro once since the exhibition started. That can't be good. <laughs> Um, wasn't he the one most worried about the painting's safety? Why would he disappear when the thief was meant to attack? What was that part? The part about the moon we couldn't solve? Behind the frozen dance and Antikythera, no moonlight shines. Midori, you said Meitaro's reaction was strange, right? Yeah, as if he was trying to avoid the subject. Antikythera. Antikythera. Oh! Could it be? Oh! This is UZ Queen mode. I know it well. Did you realize something? What, what'd, you, what'd you figure out? What are you cooking, Yuzu? Meitaro showed us that big analog clock, right? The Antikythera is a calendar-like device that calculates the movement of celestial bodies. At its core, it could be considered a kind of clock. Oh. So this is that analog clock. I understand the meaning behind the stopped clock now. Do you see? The statue of the dancer is right under the clock. Quite literally. A frozen dance. I don't see anything behind the clock and statue, though. If you don't mind, look here on the floor. This circular section doesn't align with the rest of the tiles. Oh, snap! We should be able to spin and realign it. <gasps> a, a, a secret, a secret entrance? Toki carefully spun the tile to complete the tile's design. And then... <gasps> oh, snap! I wasn't expecting opening walls and hidden stairs on this mission. They're leading to the basement. No Moonlight Shines is an apt description. I understand why Meitaro changed the subject so quickly. Okay, y'all. <laughs> um, what do you think is down there? I don't know, but if Meitaro and the Benevolent Thief have walked these stairs, we have no choice but to follow suit. It's, uh, it's all right, Sensei. The game development department will be sure to p p protect you. <laughs> it's okay, Momoi. It's all right to be scared. Y you can't say that while your voice is trembling. They'll know you're scared. <laughs> Rest assured, CNC is here as well. God, it, it does feel reassuring to have you here, Toki. I'm not gonna lie. I love the game development girls, but it's very, very good to have you here. We agreed to work together on this mission. I intend to keep my word. Okay, everyone, you are all capable of overcoming this. 
We can do this. Quest event activated. We will now be operating in my favorite genre, dungeon diving. <laughs> yes, let's go. Since I am the hero and you are the mascot, please stay right by my side, Sensei. I'll be counting on you, hero. God, they're so precious. Everyone, be careful, please. My box is always open if you need to hide. I think we can fit two if we really squeeze. Thank you, Yuzu. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, game development department, CNC. Let's do this. I'm ready to see what's at the bottom of these stairs. Ooh, the plot thickens. All right. I'm very excited for where this is going. I feel like maybe we're gonna be able to switch sides. I desperately hope this is the case. <laughs> Alrighty. Down into the dark we go. Ooh. Oh, oh no. I, I can't see anything. Ow, who stepped on my foot? Shh, Momoi, keep it down. your step. It's slippery here. That slippery thing is my hair. Oh no! Otis. I do love your hair, Otis, but maybe we should consider trimming it just a tiny bit. <laughs> ah, especially if it's getting stepped on. That's no good. <laughs> These stairs feel never ending. How far down does this go? The dark has made our progress slow, but we've been going down for a while. Oh God, what is at the bottom of these stairs? Ow, I hit my head on the wall this time. Uh, a wall, that means we hit a dead end. Everyone, please hold for just a moment. I think there's a door right here. Oh, do it, Toki. Find that door. Oh? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm guessing this is a um, literal underground uh, auction. That's never good. <laughs> um, don't like where this is going. What's being auctioned next? Bring it out. We came here for a show. Bring out something worth my money. Even if I don't win the bid, I would love to see it with my own eyes. That's right. The one and only. The Clock King's Crown. Oh, I see. This is what Toki and the Benevolent Thief were discussing. What? What? I, I thought the auction was tomorrow. What are they auctioning all the way down here? Now, now, please be patient. We still have many other rare merchandise to show you. The night is young, and there are plenty of items. The Clock King's crown will be the highlight of the auction. We don't care about a highlight, just show us. They're right, Meitado, you're dragging this out way too long. Are you not gonna address the sightings of the benevolent thief? Can we even continue in this environment? You're not the only one feeling nervous about that thief, Meitado. <laughs> Please, you are shouting over a non-issue. I have brought not only CNC, but Chale for our complete protection. I have set them on the task of defeating the benevolent thief, distracting both parties long enough for us to finish the real auction. Well, well, well. The truth 
finally comes out. If they actually succeed, then that's fantastic news for us. If they go down together, I have no complaints. In the worst case scenario, if the benevolent thief somehow comes out triumphant against Shale and CNC, it will not be unscathed. My own security detail will take over from there. Well thought out by Meitaro, as always. I'm sure we'll be safe. All right, bring out the next item. Let's get through these with haste, then we can at least and then we can at last see the Clock King's crown, yes? Thank you all. Our next item up for bid is none other than the Golden Canary. A one-of-a-kind yellow diamond extracted from a meteorite, polished to become this gem. It was once the center of countless conflicts within the black market. After disappearing for a time, I'm happy to say I've procured it for this auction. That's Meitaro. He seemed to have vanished, but there he is. And every item in this auction seems to be incredibly special or rare. In RPGs, auctions are usually where rare artifacts are sold or suspicious schemes unfold. How true you are, Otis. <laughs> How true you are. Ah, we must need credits to join this auction. To earn credits, we have to complete special quests or defeat monsters. <laughs> I love you, Otis. <laughs> Oh, God. Sensei, are those people rare monsters that will drop lots of credits? I like your thinking, Otis. Very astute of you. We're not sure yet, but let's say no just for now to be safe. But um, keep that in the back of your mind. That's a good instinct. <laughs> if something seems noisy. And not in the way I like at an auction. <laughs> oh no! Huh? CNC? What? What are you doing down here? Why are you down here? You should be facing the benevolent thief. CNC is here. What's going on, Meitaro? Did you fool us? Is this a trap? The Clock King's crown was here after all. It is a stolen item that CNC has been searching for. I think we're switching sides. I think we're switching sides, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. That's not all. Kronos holding his son, the gleaning Ishtar, the statue of Venus. There are just too many to name. What's wrong with them, Toki? Every single item up for bid today is an illegal piece being traded, passed around in the underworld. The benevolent thief is after these illegal items. These are no ordinary artworks to steal. Remember when I told you I had one additional mission besides tracking down the benevolent thief? My mission was to find these stolen pieces including the Clock King's crown. Naturally, I assumed both missions ended with apprehending the benevolent thief. The stolen artworks appearing in a basement under the mansion was an unexpected twist. You did not inform me CNC was also looking for stolen artworks. You did not ask. Let's go, let's go. Ugh. Guards, take care of the CNC and arrest them gently. Well, well, well. It looks like it's time to turn on this employer. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Toki is fantastic. Oh, man. All right. 
Let's go. Let's take down these guards! Oh. Okay. Oh, nice! I can hit all these. Let's do that. Boom! We're doing pretty good. We're clearing through this pretty fast. God, I love this event stage. If you look on the walls, too, you can see um, <laughs> there's a bunch of great artwork. Like, absolutely fantastic. I spot a lot of Momo Friends stuff on the walls. <laughs> Which is amazing. All right, let's go, Otis. Take him out. Boom! Fantastic. <laughs> like what? Oh my god, that oh, the Pororo painting is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Also, um, if y'all haven't had a chance yet, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly um, promote some of the official Blue Archive stuff. If you go and check out the official Blue Archive uh, English channel, they've got a live stream, um, which was wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. It's long, but like, it's it's good. I watched it. It was very fun. But they also have um, a new live stream from uh, Arcee, who does Arona. She has a new outfit. And at the very end, they ended up going on a tour around this like Blue Archive event that is going on and it's beautiful. And there's like actual, actual canvas paintings of Pororo sama and I kind of lost it. I kind of absolutely lost it. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, you should check out the dev streams. You should check out the live stream um, and uh, RC is fantastic. I love her. <laughs> so anyway, check that out. There's You can actually see a, a much higher resolution version of some of these paintings. They're fantastic. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Coming back to the Coming back to the fight against these dastardly, dastardly folks. Ugh! No! You put up an admirable fight, but we were stronger. Now, I have several questions for you, Meitaro. Why and how have all these stolen artworks found their way to this basement? Um, I... I really didn't want to have to resort to this. Oh no. But I've hired Shan Haijing's Genryuman guards in my security detail. Are you kidding me, Meitaro? Shan Haijing? Genryuman? You are scrupulous in some sense. You're going to do everything at any cost, aren't you? Reserves, prepare to fight. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yeah, no, that probably is the best way of thinking of it. The Shanghai Mafia. Oh god. Th those guests are. So that's what was going on, I see. Transformed into Genryuman guards. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh no, there's so many of them! What? What do we do, Sensei? What? We're way, way outnumbered! <sighs> if I had my powered suit here. Oh god! Oh god! <gasps> Benevolent thief? Yes! To the rescue! What's happening? I can't see. This way, follow me. I recognize that voice. God, yes. Yes, let's go, let's go. I followed the voice through the blinding, thick smoke and just barely escaped the mansion. Is everyone okay? Are you all doing all right? <laughs> I'm exhausted. Ow. I can't take another step. What an evening we've had. Although, night would be more accurate at this point. Is anyone hurt? Are you okay, Sensei? Great work, everyone, including you. 
With that being said, I think that we have a guest. Who are you talking about, Sensei? Coincidence, whimsy, serendipity, unpredictability, all concepts lending to the greater pursuit of art. Who, who's there? Oh, there she is! <laughs> Tis I, I hope I find you well. Who could have predicted our next meeting would be under such exciting circumstances? Oh! Sensei? What, what the heck is going on? Momoi, I know it's confusing, but there's an explanation. We only got out thanks to the benevolent thief. Sensei's right. I had a feeling, but that smoke had to have been. Nothing's here. No one's here. <laughs> it's okay, Yuzu. I'm confused by, but also appreciative of your help. Thank you. But why did you help us? I understand. Please allow me to explain and hopefully clear any misunderstandings here. Through certain means, I came to understand that you all were being fooled by Meitaro. The benevolent thief gave me a quick, meaningful glance as she spoke. I thought of the hushed conversation we had through her communication device when the lights went out. Upon confirming that neither CNC nor you, Sensei, were my enemies, I made my move. That's why I pushed you to solve the riddle, Sensei, so you could discover the underground auction hall and who our true enemy was. And to help our CNC bunny find her way to the treasure. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we've switched sides. This is amazing. Information overload. This is way too much for me to process. So are you saying we don't have to fight? Perfect. Did you think I wouldn't see through your petty tricks, benevolent thief? No! No, Toki! No! <laughs> no! Why? Whatever do you mean? Sometimes the enemy of your enemy can become an ally, but not always. Not now. No! Toki! Toki, no! C can I ask? If you're the benevolent thief, you're really one of the seven prisoners, right? That... that means... <laughs> what were you trying to say? That you can't speak to a dangerous criminal like a seven prisoner? You won't associate with a, with a petty theft. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm getting tongue-tied. You won't associate with a petty thief. Ah. The facts are that you are one of the seven prisoners, and that yours and CNC's end goals are the same. The Clock King's crown. <laughs> That's true, she's such a good thief, she stole my words. <laughs> oh. So, no. We cannot so carelessly trust a criminal. Okay, everyone stop. Hear me out for just a second. I have a suggestion. Yes, Sensei? Oh, wise words from the one and only Shale Sensei. I'd like for us to form an alliance. Yes, 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 yes! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Oh my god!
Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. God, I love this game. <laughs> when an operation has been compromised, it can be prudent to form potentially advantageous alliances against a common enemy. But that does not apply when that alliance is with one of the seven prisoners. We cannot work with criminals. <laughs> I find the suggestion an excellent one. Wise words indeed. I suppose those with such narrow-minded world views couldn't understand. Sensei, I am commencing the elimination of a dangerous criminal. No, 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 Toki, Toki. No elimination. Let's just calm down and talk. Why don't we start with some introductions? <laughs> Everyone, take a breath. It's okay. Ah, fine. Only for you, Sensei. We're actually the Game Development Department from Millennium, from Millennium Science School. I almost called the Millennium Society School. <laughs> Millennium Science School. That Metero person thought I was a CNC member for some reason, and before we knew it, we were protecting the mansion from you. He told us that a sneaky thief sent a calling card about stealing his art, some painting of a knighting ceremony. And then somehow the walls started opening and there was this hidden stairwell. And then we found the auction, but it was a day early. And then Meitaro was like, grrr, CNC, and attacked us. How did we end up here? I suspected as much, but you truly had no idea what you'd gotten yourself into. What, what about it? How are we supposed to know? It, it's not our fault. Although you did solve my calling card, even handicapped with your cluelessness. <laughs> Bravo. That's such a backhanded compliment. <laughs> I guess, to be fair, she's not calling them dumb. She's saying that they just didn't know the situation and they still did it. She's not calling them dumb. <laughs> These poor girls have had a long day. Y yeah? Well, obviously, we at the game development department have trained endlessly, day in and day out, playing puzzle adventure games for this very moment. How wonderful. Oh, benevolent thief. Wonderful. Well, I've shown my cards. The underground auction hall was my target from the beginning. It was built specifically for the heinous activities you all observed. Selling and auctioning off stolen artwork. And overseeing it all is this mansion's owner, Meitaro. I'll have to confirm your intel. But regardless, the facts are clear. All the stolen artworks that CNC has been tracking are in this auction's inventory. What the heck was the art exhibition for then? The revelries upstairs hide the darker truths underneath. I came to this unfortunate basement in search of the Clock King's crown. You know, it makes sense. If they're gonna have a bunch of high-profile people all showing up to this event, they have to have a cover of some sort. So their cover was, oh, it's an art exhibition upstairs, and then there will be an art auction. But no, really, everyone's gathering for this uh, undercover auction downstairs. Mmm. Mmm. The Clock King's crown is coveted because it truly is one of a kind. There is no other in all of Kivotos. Art is beautiful. Secluding art, hoarding art, assigning such trifling value to art. They debase my principles of beauty. Now then, any questions? Meitaro has been, has been manipulating your every move from behind the scenes. He is dastardly and conniving. It's beyond the imagination of folks like you. God, 
I'm so happy that we were gonna be teaming up. This is so great. I, I, everything that she had been saying was just so on point. Like, <laughs> it's unfortunate that she's been like essentially branded a criminal because she is a thief, but like, she's, she's doing good work here. She's doing good work. <laughs> my, my head hurts, uh, but hold right there. You, uh, you know, I know better than to trust the villain story just like that. <laughs> Perfectly understandable. Uh, but humor me for a moment, please. Who would you believe? The one who attacked you or the one who saved you? Oh, I have been wanting to thank you for saving me, Dotty. Yes, I did it for my own ideals, of course. It would be a violation of my standards of beauty if I allowed innocent blood to be spilled before something of true value. Standard of beauty. <laughs> Back to Shalu Sensei's wondrous idea. I'd like to close the deal. Will you shake my hand? Do it. You have my blessing. Switch sides. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm so ready for this. We'll all be benevolent thieves. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Alrighty then. It's okay, normal. before we hop into the next thing, I'm gonna have some more tea. Everyone, hydration check. Get yourself a drink of water, tea, coffee, whatever you prefer, soda. All of it's good. And uh, yeah, let me take a sip here. It's deeply funny to me that whenever I take a sip of tea, it's completely obscuring my mouth. <laughs> and so it looks like I'm frowning. <laughs> the frowning tea. Oh, man. <laughs> I, you know, I love that she's super different from Wakamo. It's absolutely fantastic that, like, clearly she's one of the seven prisoners because, like, people have a very difficult time catching her and keeping her uh under wraps but she's also like tremendously based <laughs> this is wonderful all right let's hop into it y'all fantastic remember nothing is forever god she is an actual outlaw how are you faring sensei I've no complaints. What about you, Toki? I have nothing to report. Rather than a report, is something bothering you? I'm sure that you're kind of upset about having to work with um, the benevolent thief, but I promise sometimes you have to understand that the world is uh, not quite so black and white. Try as I might, you're always so quick to read me. I'll be honest, Sensei, I'm not sure what to do here. You don't know? We're ten times more confused over here. Understood. <laughs> Noisy moy. <laughs> Toki! You've... You've... You've evolved to coming up with nicknames. <laughs> Instead of Momoi, it's Nosy Boy. <laughs> Understood, Noisy Moy. <laughs> noisy Moy? Is that my nickname? It's not just you. I have nicknames for everyone. Me, Dori, the true president. Yuzu, the timid and Aris, the adorable. My heart can't take this. <laughs> my heart can't take this! Oh my god, this is amazing! This is so good! These names 
our fantastic Midori, the true president, the one who's actually keeping things together. <laughs> The one who's actually leading everyone. Yuzu, the very timid, who's working on things behind the scenes. And Aris, the adorable. My god, this is incredible. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Toki! Toki, you've got you've got a real talent for this. <laughs> oh my god! I love this! They they all have cool titles. Why is mine a dumb name? <laughs> Sensei, come on, this is basically bullying. You're supposed to stop this kind of stuff. <laughs> um, against uh, my will, I probably will say bullying is, is bad, as Momoi said, even though I love the nicknames. <laughs> I love your nicknames, Toki. Bullying is bad. Let me, let me, let me get this straight. Bullying is bad, but, um, this is also adorable. <laughs> but Momoi wasn't wrong, Sensei. What do we do? This is very easy. We defeat the bad guys and become a party of hero maids. <laughs> Fantastic plan. 10 out of 10. No notes. We're not even sure who the bad guys are. Hmm? That is easy as well. The bad guys are... The... the bad guys... Oh! Suddenly everything is spinning. I am fainting, Yuzu. Help! <laughs> like I said, the world is not quite so black and white. If you don't mind, I have an idea. Please remove yourself from this case, Game Development Department, and Sensei. Oh? Why? Why would you want that, Toki? Toki? Toki, you are planning something dangerous, are you not? I admit, I was taken off guard at the proposal of an alliance. There is no need. I will fulfill my duty and see this case to its end. But by yourself? Toki, this is something you struggle with. You have a tendency to push people away. Yes, I was assigned this mission by CNC, and so I will complete it as CNC. I will not mar the organization's reputation. How, how do you plan on accomplishing this alone, Toki? I'll have to let the situation play out a little. If the situation calls for it, I'll support the Benevolent Thief's plan to stop the auction. Otherwise, I'll simply retrieve the Clock King's crown before the Benevolent Thief and return it to Valkyrie. This case never had anything to do with the Game Development Department. Or you, Sensei. So, follow Sensei back to Millennium. This is where we say goodbye. No! No, it's not, Toki! Yeah, you tell her, Otis! No! Do not falter, party members! Uh, Otis? You... you don't understand. Yes, I do. Toki joined our party. bum ba ba bum You are our party member. And the game development department does not leave a fellow member behind. Oh! I, I know this situation hasn't been ideal. And that we wouldn't even be here if it weren't for Momoi. Midori, you need to learn to put things in the past. <laughs> Ignore her. We're not going to leave you to do this alone, Toki. After all, we're your fellow CNC members. We took out a little loan on the name, remember? It's that simple for you? I was taught that the simplest reasons are usually the important ones. Or are we wrong and the reason you wish to leave is because you do not consider us party members? N no, it's only that... Uh, 
I don't know what that means. I've always done things alone, and I don't know how to handle situations I haven't encountered. At least, not off the field. If that is how you feel, then I would like to help Toki, even if the others will not join our party. If that's what Addis wants, let's do this. We'll follow your lead, Addis. <laughs> that grand finale was a true depiction of beauty. Oh! Meitaro didn't get to where he was he Meitaro didn't get to where he was by being a fool. He's already regained control of the secret auction and has restarted the bidding. His guards are hunting us down as we speak. Oh, that's not good. If my guess is correct, the Clock King's crown will be up for bid around midnight. Once Meitaro realized we are not intent on destroying each other, he pivoted to plan B. Take us out before the stroke of 12. That's a very nice rundown. Somewhat poetic, almost. Well, you were the one who suggested we join an alliance, Sensei. Yes, I was. Yes, I was, because this alliance is fantastic. There are two questions that have been bothering me. Ask away. Although, I can't give away all my secrets just yet. My first question is about the last phrase of the calling card. The sad sort of opulence never awarded to another. We thought you were talking about the sword in that night painting. That one was child's play. The sword and the crown are both symbols of authority. I had intended for the riddle's focus on clocks to be a hint. But we didn't even know this Clock King's crown thing existed. The crux of the problem. It was impossible for you to decode the calling card because you were working with a flawed premise. Because Meitaro has been lying to you since your first exchange. This entire mission was an elaborate scheme from the start. God, yeah, I do want to know who her tailor is. <laughs> she looks so good. <laughs> Surprise! And now, Meitaro will learn that fate does not always spin in his favor. This world is not a playground for his whims and fancies. Well said. Well said. Was my answer satisfactory? Absolutely yes. My second question is, why all this? You are becoming predictable, Sensei. My reasons are simple as well. I do it for everyone. E everyone? Like, you steal things for other people's benefit? Precisely. My standards of beauty dictate that the greater the value, the more it must be enjoyed by all. Why? Why is she so good? She's just actually Robin Hood over here. <laughs> She's incredible. Oh my god! She's fantastic! Art is not the privilege of the elite squirreled away in their collections that never see the light of day. It is everyone's right to appreciate beauty. Yeah, I know, I want to pull for her so bad, please. <laughs> please! Please, Nexon, make her playable! If we allow Meitaro's dastardly plans to unfold, the Clock King's crown will eventually circulate back into the black market. And that must, must not be allowed to happen. Sell this artwork to a wealthy buyer with a questionable buyer, and any back alley thug would be set for life. It would be pandemonium. I aim to retrieve it before that unfortunate outcome can come to pass. And then? Will you surrender it to Valkyrie after that? Do you 
honestly expect me to trust those fools, those neophytes who are meant to keep me captive? Do I seem imprisoned in any capacity? <laughs> she just unfortunately keeps being based. Valkyrie. <laughs> Um, continues to live up to their reputation of massive incompetence. <laughs> yeah, um, that is true. They did not keep you or Wakamo or any of the other seven prisoners held captive. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it, it did take Fox from SRT to capture Wakamo. <laughs> Wasn't even Valkyrie. I will hold on to it until the world can finally realize the true beauty of such artworks. <laughs> okay, to be fair though, you are just keeping it in the end. Yes, and your surprise is amusing. Did you forget you were dealing with a big scary thief? Will you tuck your tail and hop away now? I accept your proposal, Sensei. Oh? I intend on completing my mission. I've been tasked with retrieving the stolen goods, so I will retrieve them. If a temporary partnership helps me to achieve that, I will shake her hand. And... We are Team Toki. Yes! Oh, this is so good. We we are a party. Pachi 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 pachi. You all <laughs> You've demonstrated a golden standard of beauty. Excellent. Now then, shall we formulate our plan of attack, partners? Yes! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh my god, this event is amazing. <laughs> I love this so much. Oh my god. This is so good. I love this so much. Oh yeah, Yuzu. Hell yeah. Sneak up on him with your box. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, she's coming. She's coming for you. <laughs> oh no, has her cover been blown? No, we're okay. She went away, excellent. My hands are still shaking. Oh my god. You're amazing, Yuzu! Not even one guard saw you! Did you get to scout ahead? How's it look? Yes, I did. The security was actually pretty lax at first. But then I got to the front door. I looked inside while someone was leaving, and there were guards everywhere. In the end, we have no other choice, do we, Sensei? Alrighty, y'all. We'll put our, div our diversionary attack plan into action. The benevolent thief will get in position and signal, and then five minutes later, it's our turn. With their attention divided, we'll be able to complete our mission. The only way we can go is forward. Diversionary attack plan? Commence! Alrighty. Let's see how this goes. Ticking of a clock. Time seemed to stretch on for an eternity into the night. Finally, we saw what looked like a flame shoot into the skies behind the mansion. Huh? 
Did Meitaro say anything about fireworks tonight? I didn't hear anything about that. Oh! The flame turned into fireworks, exploding in a dazzling message across the sky. <laughs> oh! I love this! It read, The Benevolent Thief. <laughs> it's her! It's the thief! Everyone, assemble! Take down the Benevolent Thief! Let's go! That was the signal. Sensei, I'm speechless. <laughs> it was flashy to say the least. I can't believe she got her name up there. She did say we wouldn't be able to miss it. Let's get ready to move out. We have five minutes. Aris, are you ready? Heroes are always ready. Yes, they are. Let's go. I will complete these events with my party members. Gain lots of XP and level up. Amazing, let's go. Did you hear something? Hey, who's there? What is this? We've already got our plates full over here. Oh God. Oh yes, Team Toki move out. Blinding light. Let's go. I'll just get him, get him, get him! Oh my god, this is incredible! Aw, oh, yeah. Easy. Easy! Let's begin our phase of the plan! Yes, let's go, let's get him! We must move quickly. I'm ready, I'm ready, let's do it. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, um, y'all, this is shaping up to be one of my favorite events. <laughs> Oh my god, this is I and I, I love all the events in this game. It's kind of hard to pick favorites. I really, really loved um, the Sports Day event, um, and I also loved both of the... Uh... <laughs> god, it is hard. I loved the, the Christmas event as well. Um, I'm gonna use Noah. Let's do it. Get him, Noah. Fantastic. <laughs> we need an event tier list. Gotta be so hard. This is amazing though. I feel like the sports day event is great because you get to see so many different students. I think particularly the second sports day event. Um, I loved the first one too though, but the second one where everyone finally comes together. Oh, that's so good. Okay, get them. Boom. Fantastic. And no worries, if y'all missed the sports day events, they'll come back again. No worries. <laughs> you'll get to have a bunch of fun with them. That's something I love is they're so good about reruns. And you also get additional characters like available when it happens. It's so good. Oh God, the summer event is good too though. Oh no, y'all are right. God, I love so many of the events in this game. Like, especially when um, Abydos and Hyakiyako team up. <laughs> the, the summer event is very good. Very, very good. Oh, when that gets a rerun, I'm very excited to play that with y'all. I absolutely adore that. This way! Huh. Huh. How? How did this happen? Let's go. Let's go! Well, well, well. How are you doing? It's such a wonderful night to see you. It's you, the benevolent thief! I suppose I shouldn't have expected more, but such a rude welcome really throws me off. You were really after the Clock King's crown. I thought you figured that part out already. Shut your mouth! It's mine! Mine, I say! And if someone wants it, they better be ready to pay a fair price. Wrong. The crown is not yours. It's meant to belong to everyone. And one day, it will. It is too great of an art to be held by a petty social climber like you for even a moment. I'm sick of your nonsense. Those CNC maids were only good for their reputation, and even that didn't do me any good. 
I see. Because naturally, you would expect them to produce results despite having to operate under your completely false pretenses. Naturally. But speaking of CNC, did you perform your due diligence? Perhaps ensure that you had the right maids. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. You're probably too busy rubbing your nose in your dirty auctioning credits to pay any mind to anyone besides yourself to notice. Oh, let's go! Woo! Everyone, go! Midori, get the crown! Do, do you think I'll just let you leave? Guards! Yeah, I know. She she unloaded some rounds on him. We're we're gonna hope that um. <laughs> My guess is it was non-lethal rounds, cause um, yeah. <laughs> She did not take any uh, any pity on him though. No mercy. She she does she does know what she's doing. <laughs> I'm going all out. Blinding light. Oh, let's go get him. No, oh, he's hobbling away. I I have the crown. <gasps> He's getting away! Get him! Get him! Huh? What? What is this box? Oh, wait! Yeah! Yuzu! Yuzu! You have nowhere to run, Meitaro. Please, hand over the crown. Then I won't have to hurt you. Fooy your threats! I... I won't give in! I guess there's no other option. He's all yours now. Oh, let's go! Oh. We could have saved some time if you let me do this from the beginning. I wanted to at least try to talk to him, you know? Oh, that's so sweet, Yuzu. She's like, we don't have to resort to violence. We can, we can try to talk to him first, but unfortunately, unfortunately, no. benevolent thief together <sighs> so satisfying oh snap wow that's very very uh, ornate what on earth the clock king's crown safely retrieved what a relief bum, 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 bum. the party has successfully retrieved the treasure Tracking and retrieval of stolen goods has been accomplished. This closes out my missions as well. Ugh, the CNC brats. You resorted to teaming up with the benevolent thief. How shameless. The only one who's shameless is you. <laughs> I just said that, but Toki was also saying that. <laughs> oh my god, Toki. Toki, same wavelength. <laughs> the one who should feel shameless is you. Fantastic, Toki. You've deceived me and my friends and attempted to deceive others using the CNC's good name. Meitaro, you are under arrest. Th that's what you think. I'm not getting caught here. Excuse me. Excuse me, what are you talking about, Meitaro? No! No, I don't think you're running away. No! Oh no! He ran away! Beginning pursuit. Hell yeah. <laughs> then I'll be taking care of this instead of Toki. Oh! <coughs> the smoke is too thick. I, I can't see anything. She popped a smoke screen? That, that must mean... Y Yuzu, hold on to the crown tight. Uh, affirmative. I'm holding on as tight as I can. 
You're certainly holding onto something very tightly. I'll say that. Huh? Oh no! <laughs> Temporary alliance is over. It's a clump of brass. How, how did you? Oh snap. Great work, everyone. I'll be taking the Clock King's crown as payment for my services. <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> All right, so the plot thickens. To be fair, she did say she was going to do that. <laughs> oh my god, a good thief is also a good musician. Oh, did I say musician? I meant magician. Oh my god. I am so tongue-tied today, y'all. I, I apologize. She probably is a good musician, too. <laughs> good God. Oh, a good musician. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have more tea. <laughs> you know, that's true. I bet she is a good musician. She plays her own BGM. <laughs> oh, also keep an eye out, y'all. I think based on um, this like uh, event that's currently happening, um, this sound orchestra, I think there might be a concert coming up. So keep your eyes peeled. I think there might be a concert. I'm not entirely sure if that's the case, but yeah, I'm excited. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, let's do it. Next. The next mission. Let's go. Listen carefully. This is important. You were planning this from the beginning. Well, how about we say we operate under different value systems? It was this mission of yours for you, and it was upholding my standards of beauty for me, like protecting the Clock King's crown. Are you always like this? <laughs> what could the bunny mean by this? Hmm. Perhaps this is believing the ends always justify my means. Oh, or my utter lack of remorse for betraying allies at the drop of a hat, or as long as it benefits me. Or being willing to give up everything for the sake of my faith. There's your answer. I hope that satisfied your curiosity. No, I don't understand. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a great, oh, that's such a great way of putting it. Her code is like the pirate code, more of a guideline. <laughs> oh man. Oh, how adorable. I never expected you to. There were a few people who thought they could understand, but they all left reciting the same scripts. I don't understand. I'll never forgive you, you monster. I am sure even the Valiant Sensei will come to the same conclusion eventually. I wouldn't be so sure about that, but... <laughs> I'm sure there are other ways to tackle this problem. Okay, fine. Let me ask you this. Say I don't take the crown. Then what happens to it? Until Meitaro is arrested and proven guilty, it will be left to collect dust in the contraband storage of Valkyrie. I see. So the artwork that's supposed to be shared with everybody will be locked away, forgotten to the world. Wouldn't it be shared with the public in some museum, if anything? You're right. It will be managed and exhibited by those who believe the value of artwork lies in its price tag. Stop mincing your words, benevolent thief. What are you getting at? I am saying neither is correct. Your side, my side, their side. None of us have the correct answer. Oh. Oh no! I do not agree. Our party needs the crown, or else we cannot clear the quest. <laughs> oh, honest! <laughs> <laughs> 
I truly am sorry to say, but I can't give you that. My only interest is in the art and that it is in a place where it can be appreciated as it deserves. I'm curious about what her plan is. Maybe she'll post it online so that folks can see it. Maybe she'll find some way to display it so that people aren't just like gawking at it. Museums can definitely be a good solution, although museums are not always perfect. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I suppose we couldn't reach an agreement. Yeah, hey y'all, the Pororo painting is magnificent. <laughs> Absolutely magnificent. Oh. Our time together was short, but it was quite a fun adventure. Here's the thing, the benevolent thief is too based. She would never be on board with crypto. That's, that's, <laughs> it's all about stealing art. She would not be on board with NFTs. Let's get one thing straight. <laughs> it was quite a fun adventure. I did hope against all hopes that it wouldn't have to end this way. I must say the same. However, long goodbyes have never been my style. Clean, flashy, and beautiful as I've always been, as I'll always be. All right. Oh, I hate that it's come to this benevolent thief, but I also understand you have you have guidelines that you follow. I understand. Oh. All right. Let's do this. Our, our last flashy fight against our former party member. It's so sad that it has to be this way. <laughs> the benevolent thief screenshots NFTs. <laughs> Take the power away from them. <laughs> Get him, Yuzu! Oh. All right. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> benevolent thief. I'm so sorry it had to be this way. Oh. That's truly an exceptional power. Is this the power of Shale's sensei that everyone's been talking about? Oh. I'm so sorry, Benevolent Thief. Oh my gosh, we, we actually got it. Crown retrieved. Obtained a rare item. Bum, 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 bum. Ah! What should we do about her? Oh. Oh! <laughs> it's not quite over yet, it seems like. Watch your respiratory system, Sensei. This smoke isn't good for it. Oh, thank you, Toki. I appreciate it. Ah, my eyes are itchy. <coughs> Momoi, are, are you there? Yeah, I, I hear you right beside me, but I can't see you. Suddenly, a small marble looking object rolled into my foot. And as I picked up the marble... Hello, Sensei. Yes, I can hear you. I wanted to apologize for parting the way we did. You won in the end. You have the crown. But on the other hand, I have successfully wrested the crown from Meitaro's hands. It's better this way. So I'm not fully satisfied, but I'll let it go this time. Plink, please think of this as my token of respect towards our first meeting, Shale's sensei. Oh, this is great. She's like, I'm not entirely happy about this, but ultimately the goal was to get this out of his hands. And if you were going to display it in a, a museum, even if it'll collect dust for a little bit until the trial. <sighs> All right. Good on you, benevolent thief. You've been doing this alone. All this time? Oh. Sensei, do you know the difference between a stone and a piece of art? 
To some, there is none. That's how blind they are to the true value of art. I meant what I told you earlier. I am the only one who can understand its beauty, see its true value. And so, only I am capable of safekeeping these items, am I not? And that's why you chose to be a thief? Oh, that's so pretty. Yes, that is my love, devotion, and mercy towards beauty. My benevolence. That is my commitment to beauty. I take the artwork that would otherwise be lost to the darkness forever and keep it until the world is ready to experience it. On the day we are born, we are pure, without titles, without labels, and so we accept the ones others gift us. The world has been calling me a thief, so I accepted it with my own twist. Of course, people tell me they don't understand, that it's not a love, that I'm insane. So I can't do anything if you also. Well, listen, I don't really think of you that way. Huh? It's not easy, but I do understand. I'm your teacher. I wouldn't judge you. I'll always do my best to understand you. Oh, wonderful. No one has ever responded like that before. I'm not just any student. Can you really understand a thief, Sensei? As an adult and your teacher, it's not my job to judge you. What if that thief is a stubborn, twisted person? One who will never come around? I have a knack for not giving up on my students. <laughs> I'll be there to stop my student from going too far off the road, and I'll always take my student's hand when she's lost. So, we'll just keep on trying, that's what you're saying? I'd like to ask you a question. Despite being a criminal, an infamous Seven Prisoner, even the benevolent thief? I'm still your student? When I look at you, I only see my student, of course. Akira. Akira? Yes. Kiyosumi Akira. Oh! That is my name. Sensei, I'm sure fates will have us cross paths again someday. Until then. God, it is such a pretty name. <gasps> she gave us her name! Oh, let's go! <laughs> oh my god, this is so precious! Ah, I can see again. Uh, sensei! Are you okay? Are you injured, Sensei? You are weak, so you must be extra careful. An initial glance seems to indicate good health. Yes, I'm okay. Um, if you say so, but your face just looks like you ate a bitter candy. Is... Everything okay? I don't know how much more bad news I can handle. <laughs> no kidding, honestly. Oh god. Everything is okay. Did we get it? How about the crown? We didn't lose it or anything, right? Here. It's safe. 
Oh my god! She was telling the truth. She didn't take it. Dang! Oh my gosh, that's great! Oh! Someday. Someday we'll be able to pull for our benevolent thief. Please! Please! Yuzu took out the crown, and everyone sighed in relief. Although both the benevolent thief and Meitaro ran away, we were all happy that everyone was safe. Oh, <sighs> no one's after me, right? Good. I can still do this. As long as I don't give up, an offer opportunity will open up. I know, I know it. There's a reason I survived. Huh. Is that so? Then survive this. Who? Who's there? Oh! Excuse me! <laughs> that was not who I said- who I thought was saying that line! <laughs> Excuse me, Nehru. Oh my God! Ooh. Let's go. The real little menace has arrived. What was that? I thought there was gonna be a fight. Ah, <laughs> oh, Nehru, let's go. Magnate of the back alleys, you say? <laughs> Just small fry. Hey, let's go. We got some kiddos to say hi to. <laughs> oh no, they're here! <laughs> it sounds like they might know. Um. Oh no. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, we did kind of take a lot of uh, Nehru's outfits. Okay. <laughs> uh. Hi, Nehru. Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh. Oh, Nehru is angry. I am scared. Oh, God. Hey, kids. We, we did it. We're sorry, Nehru. Huh? What are you sorry about? Are, are you really making us say our crimes one by one? That's too harsh. You just said you're sorry, and now all of a sudden I'm too harsh? <laughs> She's got a screw loose, just like the rest of you. Everyone else too. I, I'm so sorry. I, if I didn't accept this from the beginning. If I had just turned down the commission and ran away. It's all over now. Nehru is going to destroy us. And the game development department will be disbanded. <laughs> we basically impersonated another club. So there's no room for extenuation. <laughs> We worked so hard to keep our club room. We risked our lives to keep Yuzu and Otis together. M Momoi. Do, do, do not cry, Momoi. But look, I, I am not crying because I have learned that even if we are apart, our hearts will still be together. Hey, I think you guys have some huge misunderstanding going on here. I didn't even say anything. Wait, is this really how you guys view me? <laughs> I wonder how that came about. Listen, Akane, you're the one over here keeping a stash of all of these different sizes of maid outfits just in case Nehru ends up growing someday. <laughs> Don't give me that look. I haven't done anything to deserve that reputation. Not with the kids. I'm sorry, Nehru. I've retrieved the evidence and the crown, but I lost the suspect. I failed. You didn't fail. We dusted him as soon as we got here. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, 
I, I apologize. My incompetence caused you to dirty your hands. Come on, lighten up. I already knew everything. Everyone's happy and safe, so who cares what happened in between? And... You kids. <laughs> oh no. Please spare my life. Neru, please listen to me. Huh? Please don't blame the game development department for everything. Huh. I am just as at fault as they are. My responsibility was to notify the upperclassmen and wait for backup, but I did not. Toki, you sweet girl! Oh! No! Oh. Instead, I worked with the game development department as a fellow party member and as... Uh, as a friend. Oh! Yes! She does! She's, she's, she's fully accepted that they're friends now! Oh! So, whatever happens, I will take full responsibility with them. R right, Neru. Toki and I are party members. We are friends. I learned that friends help each other when they are in hardship, like Toki was, so I... I... Will you all shut up? I'm not mad at anyone. <laughs> I'm gonna keep not letting her finish. <laughs> at least we got to see some wonderful character development from them. Oh god. But yes, I'm sorry, Neru, that everyone's been cutting you off. <laughs> Ugh, how do I say this? Well, good job, all of you. Oh, a compliment from Neru. Wh wait, what? N Neru? Is, is that really you? <gasps> Don't tell me it's a doppelganger that looks just like Neru. What are you saying? Shut it! Jeez. Why is it so much of a pain to just give someone a damned compliment? <laughs> are are you really okay? Huh? <laughs> I mean, we operated and completed an entire mission under CNC's name, right? Like I said, good job. We got the suspect, we have the evidence. We drop everything off to Valkyrie, and it's case closed. Ooh! Wow! Unlike her height measurements, Neru might actually have a big heart! Momoi! Momoi! <laughs> you- No! Momoi! <laughs> Don't you say that! Don't you- Listen, y'all are short too, you can't be saying that! You cannot be saying this! <laughs> Mamoy! From one short person to another, that is unacceptable. <laughs> you cannot say this. That is not okay. <sighs> Noisy boy, no. <laughs> God, that's such a good nickname. Toki is so talented at this. <sighs> Mamoy, quiet. She might hear that. <sighs> and you, Toki, why? Yes, I will gladly take any punishment you might have for me. Ah, come on! I'm not mad at anyone for Kivotos' sake. First off, why the bunny outfit? Because it is CNC's infiltration uniform. Ah. <laughs> uh... This is exactly why wearing those was a dumb idea. Hmm? What do you mean, Prez? You looked great in it. <laughs> Toki, you look great too. <laughs> but, but thank you. Ugh, whatever. What I'm trying to say is... Yes, probation, self-reflection. Confinement. I am ready for anything. Oi, Toki! Rio wasn't doing that to you, was she? I, I got some words for Rio. The Come on, 
on now. Don't go expecting that that's the case. Come on. It's okay. You're that's that's not how we do things here. My god. I can't put up with this. <laughs> Neru is trying to praise you right now, Toki. She wants to apologize for going on missions without you. S -s Sensei. <laughs> forgot about sensei what what did sensei mean by that ah uh, come on seriously good job and sorry i uh, well i didn't mean to leave you behind it really just ended up like that and you did well in difficult circumstances so well Great work. That's it. <laughs> Yay! This is great to hear that they weren't just intentionally abandoning her. It just things worked out in such a way where Toki kept not getting taken along for missions. But Neru and the rest of them felt bad about it. Oh! Sorry, Toki. She's not very honest when it comes to this type of conversation. Who told you to butt in, huh? Yeah, Toki! Great job! Oh, yay! Toki deserves all the praise in the world. She needs to hear this more. But thank you, everyone. Oh, my heart! My heart! It's so good! Uh, I'm so tired. All that work and for nothing. Well... At least we got inspiration for our next project. Ooh! Ooh, I like the sound of that! New... project? I... I guess we did get loads of ideas from this. You'll get the bounty from Valkyrie as well. Wh what A bounty? What? What do you mean, Sensei? What bounty? Apparently, there was a reward for the stolen items. They had a bounty placed on them. So that is the quest reward. Obtained reward money. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, then with the bounty money, we should get the new fly stations. <laughs> I'm sure you know there are better places to spend that, Momoi. Ah, come on! We are the game development department. Where else do we have to use our money besides games? I have an idea. The president of the game development department is Yuzu. So let us have her decide. Oh, I, uh, I do have an idea. Really? What is it? I... I thought we could use it to fund and finally start our new project. <gasps> That's such a good idea! Yes, do that! F fund Our new project? Speaking of which, I think we're almost out of the R&D budget we got from Seminar. Oh, good! Yuzu is always one step ahead. If we incorporate the ideas we got from here, I I think we can come up with something pretty cool. Oh, I have an idea then. So listen, listen. So, nope. I told you, if you have an idea, write out a proposal. <laughs> ah, but I'm bad at writing that kind of stuff, Midori. You're supposed to be our scenario writer and planner. You can't be bad at writing. I... I guess I should get to coding as soon as we get back. <laughs> oh! Oh! Wait! Mido! I'm being overwhelmed with an influx of ideas! You wanna play some games to organize our thoughts a bit after this? <laughs> no slacking off! You think you can fool me like that? I am always ready for whatever we are doing! Everyone's so energetic. <laughs> This was so good! The happy group sat around, 
chatted, and laughed together. It was getting later and later into the night, but no one seemed to mind. Oh. And then... Oh? Momoi? Huh? What you need, Sensei? That was a crazy series of events. <laughs> Oh, yeah, seriously. I thought we were in big, big trouble at a few points. <laughs> but hey, you know? Mm -hmm. Yuzu, Midori, Aris, and even Toki. I had so much fun with everyone. How about you, Sensei? Oh my god, I had so much fun, Momoi. <laughs> it was so much fun. Yeah! And we got to meet someone new! It was really, really good! The smiles on Momoi's and the game development department members' faces were still bright after a year of trials and tribulations. Oh, my heart. Oh, that's so good. They really have been through so much. Oh. The only thing you are to me is my student. Oh, and there she is. Oh! Oh my god, she has red eyes. Yes. <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh no! Is she just repeating the recording back? The only thing you are to me is my student. Sensei. Oh no! <laughs> the only thing you are to me is my student. <sighs> my breath is hot. My chest feels tight. My heart is pounding out of my chest. But I'm not in pain. Rather exhilarated why is that so do you know the answer sensei there's nothing that can't be stolen and beauty is meant to be appreciated by all we are born without names and our lives are the drawn out process of getting to the next choice well then until next time Neither of us will be the same when we at last see each other again. No oh, snap! What do you got planned? No! And then it ends! No! <laughs> oh my god, I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was unexpected. I... I did not, <laughs> I did not expect this. She is gonna steal us, oh God. Hey y'all, this event was amazing. I love this game. <laughs> I love this game so much. This was so far and beyond, even better than I could have hoped. I absolutely adored this event. This was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Yumi Sensei does it again. Listen, I'm just trying to, to let students know that like I'm looking after them and then I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad at least that like we're on good terms and everything, but um, yeah, no, she, God, Akira was the star of that event. Absolutely. She was the absolute star of this. Good God. Absolutely fantastic. Everyone was so good too. Like we finally got to see the game development girls and we got to see Toki together. Like, especially after everything that they went through, both through the Millennium story <laughs> and uh, also through volume F. Um, this, this is wonderful. I am, I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> this event was so good. I, I got an Otis and a Toki hug. Toki is, is officially friends with them all. This is so wonderful. Ugh. 
Oh, this is so good. Okay, y'all. Now I desperately hope that I get both of them. Um, I was already really hoping that I would get both Maid Aris and, and Bunny Toki, but now I, I desperately, desperately, desperately want them. Oh, here's the thing. I love Toki. I just, if I had to pick one, it was it was going to be Maid Aris, but now I'm just absolutely torn. I, I don't know what to do, y'all. I really hope I get both of them, but okay. All right. Okay, hide me, Dottie. Okay, let's go. Let's go recruit. Oh, God, flip a coin. <laughs> I think I'll, oh God. Oh God, I think I'm probably still slightly leaning towards, if I have to pick one, I'll, I'll snag Maid Otis because um, she has a very lovely K chain um, <laughs> that I really, I, I want her um, very badly. It's like two for one, right? <laughs> She's got this nice little keychain at the end of her her adorable little broom. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be really hard. Okay, let's um Oh <sighs> okay. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna start with Otis and then we'll do we'll do Toki from there. Okay. Thank you all for the good luck. Let's do this. We'll, we'll do our first hundred pulls on on Otis, and then we'll switch over to Toki, and we'll hope for the best. You know, I actually thought about doing the mini game, but I have to break it to you all. Uh, the mini game, uh, I think it works okay on emulator, but it completely switches the orientation. It, it, I'd have to like totally change how I have this set up in OBS, <laughs> so I might not be able to do the mini game. But you all should play the mini game. It's hard. Um, also, pick Yuzu. That's my suggestion. Okay, let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. Yeah, touchscreen movement. I've heard it's definitely a little easier with like a mouse, but it's also still hard. Ooh! Okay, we're gonna do. Okay, chain. That's what we're doing. Okay, chain. Okay, first roll. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh God. Oh God. Cage. <laughs> God, do I do do I still have the streamer luck? Please, please. Okay. Okay. Oh God. Oh God. Do it so far in. <laughs> it's near the end. Oh my god, yes! <gasps> oh my god! Kaho! You beautiful, beautiful person! I was so sad that I couldn't pull on you because I was saving up for this next banner! <gasps> yes! 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 She has a similar obsession with Chise as I do with... <laughs> for me and Parano. We are kindred spirits. <laughs> oh, Kaho, my heart. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Let's go. This is excellent. A good day. A good day. Oh, fantastic. The Chise simp graces us with her presence. Oh, this is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh god, I'm so relieved. I was really wanting her. Her um, attack animations are also hysterical. Like some of my favorites. <laughs> they look so good. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna keep going with this. Okay. That's gonna be our thing for this one. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, unfortunately, no one on this one, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. Cage, let's go. <laughs> Shirt for cage chain. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna keep going. Keep going. Come on, come on. We're doing good. We already got a new student. I'm happy. Very, very happy. <laughs> Yeah, some of you might have noticed we're we're interestingly um, ten pulls further in than we should be. Um, 
If I'm being a little a little honest, it was it was a bit of a long week at work, and uh, I got excited that there was a guaranteed pull ticket, and so I did buy it. <laughs> I was able to get Koharu to a five star off of it, so it was good. <laughs> But yes, we are we are ten pulls further in than than we should be. If I had just started pulling, <laughs> oh man, it was it was my reward, <laughs> my reward to myself. Oh man, all right, let's go. Cage, yeah, totally worth right. I love Koharu. She's she's extremely adorable. So I got her. Gasp, you me wailing. <laughs> The gotcha gods did demand the roll. This is true. All right, let's let's continue going. We're at roll fifty. All right, doing all right, doing all right. We do need a pet Otis. <gasps> yes, Cage. I believe. I believe. I believe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Only the third one. Only the third one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Hi, Ayane. Hi, Asuna. Mm. Oh, hi, Senna! <laughs> I've been getting Senna so much recently. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All good. All good, all good. We're only 60 pulls in. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> this reads like Kane Channel. <laughs> it's true. Oh, man. Okay, let's do it. We're still going. Still doing okay. <laughs> let's go let's go all right still going still doing all right getting a bunch of characters i believe in us we can always switch banners after this as well oh change class to maid maybe oh we can try that for the last the last two if if cage doesn't get us on this one okay we'll we'll try maid for this but then we might go back Class maid. <laughs> maid hero. <laughs> maid hero. Oh, maid for Toki. You know, maybe that's a fair point. Maybe we should do maid for Toki. Okay, we'll go back to, to Cage on this one for K-Chain. We've got 20 more on this one, and then we'll switch to the other one. We might even still get Aras on the other one as well. Okay. Oh no, we do need to do Pion. Okay, hold on, we're gonna do cage. Oh, that's a bad cage. It's fine. <laughs> it's sort of legible. <laughs> it's somewhat legible. That's all right. Okay. Next. This is our hundredth one. <gasps> oh, snap. Okay. Cage! Give me that K-Chain! K-Chain! Oh, snap. Okay, it's the next one. Mm. No! <laughs> that is the most perfect read. <laughs> Ui, I love you so much. I love Ui. I love her. She's so good. Ooh, jump scare. <laughs> that really was a jump scare. <laughs> okay, that's okay. We're switching banners. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. Next. It's all good. Let's do it. Pion. I know. Ooh, is absolutely fantastic. I adore her. <gasps> oh! Pion. Beautiful. Pion. <laughs> Let's go! Who's it gonna be? Oh god. Oh god. Alrighty. Alrighty. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? <laughs> Pion. Pion. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. <laughs> Oh, hi, Haruna! <laughs> oh, I do love you, Haruna. You beautiful, beautiful, extremely destructive person. 
Okay, that's all right. We've, we've actually managed to get a bunch of five stars. I'm pretty happy so far. Gorm! <laughs> the Gorm returns! The Gorm returns in the flesh. She has graced us with her present. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We're doing all right. Oh, my gosh! Pion! Pion? Wow, I'm getting a lot of five stars. I don't... Or, am I saying five stars? Excuse me, three stars. I'm getting a lot of three stars. That's a lot more than I usually get. Dang. Dang. Pion, Pion? Oh. Let's go. I know five stars are wrong game. I've been playing... I, I've had to catch up on a bunch of Star Rail recently. I was really behind on some events, so I've been playing a bunch of that. You can probably tell. <laughs> Oh, man. oh snap! I have them all. Misaki. Misaki. Oh snap! Wow. Oh Misaki, I promise you're gonna you're gonna live a happy life. I'm gonna show you that everything is okay. Everything is gonna be all right. You, you've lived such a horrible, horrible, sad life. It's gonna be all right. I know, uh, she needs a hug. Everyone needs a hug. Oh, yeah, I got two new characters. This is crazy. Dang, Misaki, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Everything is gonna be just fine, I promise. Everything is gonna be okay. Yes, many, many hugs all around. God, dang. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, all right. Oh my God, what? P Pion? Pion? What? What is happening? What is happening? Oh my god! Is the Toki Banner glitched? Yeah. I think I'm just getting insanely lucky! What? This is nuts! <laughs> Streamer, it's, it's making up for the horrible luck that I've had in the past. Two years of uh, mediocre luck and then some good luck with Gorm and with uh, Probble. <laughs> Pion does seem really powerful, y'all. Good god. Okay, who, who's coming next? <gasps> Yes! Oh my god! This is a blessed day! Great event! Great pulls! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is amazing! <laughs> Pion, truly, truly! Oh my, rabbits are the lucky animal! Oh my god! Thank God we've done it, y'all. I'm getting both of them. They don't have to be alone. Oh my God, this is so wonderful. Let's go. <laughs> Fion, mono monotone intensifies. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Y'all, this is wonderful. Toki, you're, you're coming home. You get to, you get to be in the party. This is so wonderful. Okay. Okay. You know, I thought about rolling Pion on the Maid Addis banner, but we've been having such good luck on this banner. Maybe, maybe we'll... Oh, maybe I should switch and do Pion on the other one. Oh, this is hard. We have 130? Should we, should we try Pion on the other one or keep pulling on this one? <laughs> Isaac is bare in the house. Are you using up his luck? <laughs> For real, though. This is, this is actually the kind of luck that Bear always gets. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, okay, let's do 20 more on this one, and then we'll peon on the other one. 20 more on this one, and then peon on the other one. Okay. 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 <laughs> Blue Archive. <laughs> the return of Kate. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. 
This banner has been nuts. Okay, we're gonna do 20 more on this one, then we'll switch, then we'll switch. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> the first time we're not getting a three star, can you imagine? All right, Pion. Pion. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. I know I was I was waiting for the surprise purple, honestly. Okay, we'll do one more on this and then we're gonna switch over. Let's recruit. Let's do it. No. Nope. Okay, that's alright. I'll do a slightly better peon. Peon. Okay, now we're ready. We're ready. Ready for the other banner. Excellent. I am actually losing my mind right now. I cannot believe we, we got two new characters and also uh, I'm gonna get both of them! No, I can use all of my currency for this. <laughs> all of my credits. Oh god knows, I've been wanting to get a bunch of characters so I could actually use some of my infinite money on them! This is fantastic! Okay, let's go. Pion. Let's go. Beautiful. Pion. Pion. Beautiful. Beautiful Pion. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Cage! <laughs> Maybe for the very last one, we'll switch back to Cage again. For our Cage chain. Okay. Pion. Pion. Okay. We'll do K-Chain. Beautiful. <laughs> Cage is not to be trusted. <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely incredible, y'all. Okay. All right. Okay. Ooh! Okay. I wonder if I can do this fast. Cage. Pion. Oh god, no, it didn't come together, but it's Cage Pion. <laughs> oh! Cage Pion! Hi, Azusa! Welcome, welcome. Uh, I can I can increase your, your weapon more. <laughs> beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, 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 okay. Who are we gonna get? Cage Pion. <laughs> Hello! Oh my god, I've gotten two Harunas! Ah, oh, this is a good day. I can I can really level up Haruna. This is amazing. Let's go. Oh my god, both Haruna and Azusa. Let's go. I will take this. I will take this. Gorm returns again! The double Haruna! She just knows. She knows that I'm getting insanely lucky, so she's showing up. <laughs> Oh my god! You know Haruna's on the raid up! <laughs> what?! Uh, Cage! 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 Pion! Got it! Kate! That, that's really bad handwriting, but... <laughs> what is happening?! What is happening?! Oh, hi! <laughs> Wakamo heard that I was getting excited about another one of the seven prisoners. <laughs> Wakamo heard and she's like, what? What's this? What's going on here? What's happening? I'm here now. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, wrong prisoner. Um, I would love Akira. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Akira. <laughs> someday, someday I will have you and it will be perfect. All right, 190. Um All right, let's go. This has been insane. We have we have been able to pull so many 3 stars. All right, the very last H Pion. Oh, that that's not even words. That's just me scribbling. It knew. It knew I was just scribbling. That's a lot of two stars, so I'll take that. <laughs> um, I'm a bit at a loss for words. That was, um, that was kind of insane, y'all. Um, huh. 
Yeah, I agree. That that was one of the most profitable 200 pulls that I have also seen. That's like um, whenever they have like the extra rate up stuff like that was uh, that was crazy. <laughs> All right, select. I'm going to select Nate Otis. Yes, please. Wonderful. Oh, bum 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 bum! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful! Oh God! Also, for those of you who have been getting lucky making pulls, let's go! <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad we have spread the gotcha luck today. This has been a wonderful, wonderful day. God, yes, our beloved daughter comes home. Artist, let's go. Oh, yay! Oh, oh my god, I've got like that, like... I, I can't believe how lucky we were. This was amazing. What a, what a fantastic ending to this event and stream. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, jeez. No, oh, no! Oh, I, I, I wish y'all the best of luck who are pulling. I'm sorry for those of you who, who had to, to spark. I honestly suspected that was going to be happening to me too. That always seems to be the case. I guess now, um, whenever we do these pulls, it, it does seem like I have been really lucky. I don't, I don't know what to make of that. I'm glad some of y'all are, are, are picking up a bunch of characters. Uh, more people got Kaho too. This is wonderful. Also, Totally respectable to save up for Kasumi. Do it. Save up. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And no, these um, characters are not unique. So if you don't pull on them, you can get them in the future. Um, they're not limited. So they'll just be added to the permanent pool. So, God, yeah. After all this time, Bear's luck is finally rubbing off on me. Let's go. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh, this is so good. It's absolutely wonderful. God, I wish I could animate the Pararo to, <laughs> to have its eyes bulge when I squish it. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Unfortunately for now, it will probably just have to be adorable and uh, just hanging out in my arms. But that's that's not a bad idea. I wonder if I could figure out how to do that. I'd probably have to do some rigging in live 2D to get that to work. I could probably figure that out, though. I'll look into that. That will be something I can do. That'd be fun. <laughs> The poor Pinotto. Holy cow, y'all. Um, thank you for um, hanging out as we went through this event. I got some very kind super chats. I'm going to read through here really quick. Y'all can hang out here with me, Dori. I thought it would be fitting to hang out with the Game Development Club. I also love me, Dori's recollection lobby. It's very, very good. Oh my god, this was a fantastic stream. This was so dang good. Let me go pull up, um, I'll get our super chats here, read through the very kind things that folks sent, and then, um, and then it will be the end. <laughs> oh, this has been such a fun stream, y'all. This was great. This was like, oh, this was absolutely fantastic. I love this so much. <laughs> Again, in return, give us your XP reports. <laughs> God, if I could give you all my currency and all of these um, XP reports I'm holding on to, that would be fantastic. That would be so good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, super chats, let's go. Oh my god, y'all are very kind. Let me go pull all these up here. <laughs> Four hour stream, yeah, that's normal. It's just another Yumi stream. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna start off. Uh, god damn. You crazy people. Thank you, Rogue Robin, for the Aka Super. Um, that was extremely kind of you. Happy Blue Archive, Yumi. Get them bunny maids. <laughs> Thank you. Also, please don't apologize. I saw you apologizing for not sending this sooner, um, like during the Yumiversary. Please, please don't worry about that. I want you all to take care of yourselves. Like, that's very, very sweet. Um, Thank you. It's very, very kind of you. I am very happy that it has been such an awesome year. And apparently this next year is already off to a good start. Um, <laughs> just one of, casually, casually one of uh, the most lucky uh, polls I've ever had. Just getting a bunch of stuff. <laughs> thank you, Rogue. Thank you, Rogue Robin. I appreciate that 
so much. I'm glad that you prioritized. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You all are very, very, very sweet. Thank you. And thank you, Tofu, for your super chat. Shiroko and Toki would get along a bit too well. God damn, can you imagine if those two met each other? Oh, here's the thing. Now I'm thinking that um, Akira would get along really well with Shiroko. Like, both of them are into, like, <laughs> freeing money from the um, from the rich and distributing it to the poor. So, I don't know. I, I feel like they might get along, too. We just have a nice little party going on over here. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. And thank you, Alex. <laughs> Yumi is a maid. Listen, Toki got the wrong impression. But I, I think that cosplay is also very fun. God, cosplay has been something that I've wanted to do super badly. But every time I go to conventions, I kind of chicken out. Like, I never I never put in the time to actually, like, um, make a cosplay ahead of time. And then I just go around admiring everyone else's cosplays. Um, but at some point, at some point, I need to just sit down and put something together. I really badly at some point want to do some sort of like cosplay with a bear. I think that would be super fun. There's something that I've wanted to cosplay is um, I think that it would be really, really fun to cosplay as Sakura and Nozaki from Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. I feel like that would be like perfect height wise and it would also just like work out fantastically. I think it would be very good. So. But alas, I am not cosplaying as a maid today, but at some point it would be really fun to do cosplay. I'm super impressed with those of you who do it because it's really good. <laughs> like, I'm super impressed with cosplay. The other problem is every time I go to conventions, I always just spend the whole time in Artist Alley buying everything. <laughs> I like save up a bunch and then I go and just spend the entire time like there's panels that are happening and I'm like screw the panels I gotta go get me some I, I gotta get stuffed animals and I gotta get posters and I gotta get um Tonkabon and <laughs> so yeah um that's my convention experience but thank you thank you for the super chat it's very sweet Alex you actually sent a couple let me let me go through yours holy cow thank you uh, I say we call Batman, <laughs> I say we call Batman from Brave and the Bold. Man, I think uh, Batman probably would have been a good choice just for finishing this all a little bit quicker. But I'm impressed. They they managed to catch everyone pretty fast and put an end to the underground uh, auction area. So that was, that was good. <laughs> that would be very good. <laughs> Oh man, don't remind me of the Persona 5 palace rulers, especially Madarame. Oh man, I'm sorry. I, I, I had that um, almost slip up in the middle where I wanted to call the benevolent thief the phantom thief. And uh, <laughs> uh, definitely got a little bit of the Persona on the brain. Persona 5 is quite fun for those of you who haven't checked that out before. I would highly recommend. This part reminds me of Hunter x Hunter when Gon and Kilua go to New York City to find the Greed Island video game in the auction arc. Holy based! Hey, Hunter x Hunter is a fantastic series, like both the manga and the anime. So there's two um, versions of the anime. Um, there's an older one, and then there's a newer one. I saw, if I'm being honest, I really prefer the newer one. The, the old one is totally fine too, but the new one is just like, it's incredible. It's so, so good. Like, um, it's 100, I think 148 episodes, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. My favorite arc is actually the Greed Island arc. I think it's very good. It's kind of like where the kids get to have a good combination of fun while still having the stakes be really high. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's true. The old one, that's the thing. The old one definitely does have slightly better intro pacing, but the new one, it's just so good. Like, they poured so much love into it. It's absolutely fantastic. Also, I love the fact that they keep the same OP for everything. They just change the visuals that go along with it. Mm. It's a good decision. I love it. I'm obsessed with that OP. Oh, but thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Where's the detective prince of Kivotos? Akechi, Persona 5. <laughs> God, that's the thing. This really, this whole event really got some big, like, I don't know. I saw some of you folks being like, what is this, Ace Attorney? 
<laughs> but they got really clever with this. This was absolutely fantastic. Oh, absolutely fantastic. God, yes. Hisuka. Oh, I love Hisuka. Hisuka is like a fantastically written villain. They're like just um, relatable enough where you're like, okay, maybe, maybe they're not going to absolutely murder everyone. <laughs> But then Hisuka is also like deeply terrifying in such a fantastic way. Oh, I love Hisuka to death. Hisuka might be one of my favorite villains ever. There's also a great thing for the series as a whole because like Hisuka just like is one of the strongest characters that they run into. And like, it's really cool to see Gon and Kiloa and everyone slowly working their way to that level. Um, it's good. It's very, very good. Hisuka is great big fan. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Those were all super chats from Alex. Thank you. Y'all are very, very sweet. Thank you so much. God damn. It's very, very nice of you all. Thank you. Um, I've also got, oh my God, Rogue Robin. You also sent in a couple more. You all are very, very sweet. <laughs> thank you, Rogue Robin. Good event story. Fun time, everyone. For real though. Like, <laughs> That the very beginning where they're like, and everyone lived happily ever after. It was all fantastic. Oh, whoops. No, they still have to go guard this place. <laughs> Thank you. I, Yumi, I'm with the thief now. Good luck. See, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all are, y'all are based. That's fantastic. Y'all understood? You understood that we needed to, to, to steal from the rich? We needed to eat them? It was, it was good. I'm proud of you all. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> oh man, and Gabriel, thank you for the super chat. Yumi's heart was stolen so much so that Toki has no space. <laughs> oh God, she can't rebut me. Oh God, it's true. I'm sorry, Toki, listen. I just, I'm glad that Toki was convinced in the end, but like, I don't know, man. The benevolent thief was, was talking some sense there. It was good. Oh, I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm very much a fan. Thank you. And thank you, Gabriel. Kiyosumi, pure, clean, clear. Akira, bright and clear. God, she is just wonderful though, right? When is she going to be playable? I'm like eagerly looking at the, the third anniversary on the Japanese server, desperately hoping. Here's the thing though. I'm going to be totally real. I also really want Seiya. Like... I want them to release Seiya as a playable character, and then I can have her on my team. And then she and Nagisa and Mika can all sit at their little table in my cafe together, and they'll all, it'll be good. <laughs> they'll all be right together. It'll be fantastic. Also, based on the trend with Mika and Nagisa, I feel like Seiya would be pretty good and very fun to have, so. Here's the thing, why not have both? I, I do want both of them. I'm just thinking based on like, which characters they haven't released, I think it's much more likely that Seiya will come before um, Akira comes. So I think it will be good. We're gonna, we're gonna see. I will be very happy when I have both of them though. It will be great. Ugh. You know, that's probably a fair point. She might not be festival material. I'm curious. I'm excited to see who they end up revealing. They already had kind of a big reveal on their side with uh, another crossover event. That'll be fun when that actually reaches us. It's gonna be good. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> TJ, thank you. I definitely took all the Yumi luck when I was pulling, so your pulls will probably go well. <gasps> TJ, oh my gosh, the truth comes out. TJ, you sacrificed so much for us. Oh my god, my pulls were the best that they've ever been. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, TJ. My deepest, deepest condolences. I hope that you have better luck in the future. Oh my God. You poor, poor soul. That's horrible. <laughs> uh, thank you for your sacrifice. I, I appreciate it. I feel so bad that the sacrifice happened. Oh no, our pulls were so good. <sighs> thank you, TJ. And I'm sorry, my condolences for you. Thank you, Rogue Robin. Pion Pion. Pion Pion. And uh, Kate really uh, pulled through for us, huh? And also TJ's very sad sacrifice. Good God. <laughs> no. Yumi sacrificing her chatters. Who's next? No. <laughs> oh, God, no. 
It's happening. Oh no, the ritual sacrifices are happening. I have to, I have to move forward before we lose too many more. Um, uh, thank you, Companion Cube. Oh my gosh, fantastic name. Oh man, that makes me want to go and rewatch Madoka. I need to go and, um, I haven't watched any of the movies, which is an absolute sin. I need to go and check them out. They're fantastic. Um, but thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Hello, Yumi Sensei. Congrats on your one year. I came for the lore videos and stayed for the comfy snake curl. Oh, thank you. God, that's so sweet. Thank you. Y'all are damn nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad you all have been enjoying stuff. I'm also glad I finally get to show you all this comfy new outfit. I have been working on this for many months. I think I first showed this off like... God, I don't remember. I, I, I showed a preview of this during a member stream. Um, and it's it took me a while just to like get everything finished and then um, actually rig things together. But I'm so happy it all worked out and that y'all have enjoyed it. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <sighs> also, um, I'm explicitly ignoring those of you who are talking about a, a bounty on my head. There's no bounty. You're fine. No, no one million yen. It's fine. It's fine. They'll forget before um, the Tsuchinoko Festival happens in six months. It'll be fine. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for your super chat. It's extremely kind of you. <laughs> oh no, TJ, no! Thank you for the super chat. Oh, this is so tragic, y'all. You got um, swimsuit wakamo. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> oh, TJ, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Um, my condolences. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, that's terrible. They're just rubbing the salt into the wound. I, I hope, I'm, I'm, I'm putting it out there into the gacha universe. I hope that TJ gets swimsuit wakamo at some point in the future. Please, TJ. I hope that you are able to get the characters you so desperately want. I'm so sorry for your sacrifice. Oh God. <laughs> Oh god, thank you though. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the super chat. That's very sweet of you. And finally, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who has sent in gifted memberships. You all are unbelievably sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am beyond <laughs> flabbergasted by everyone's extreme kindness and generosity. This has been absolutely fantastic. So thank you. This was so much fun. Um, I had a great time with you all. I can't believe the polls we got. I absolutely adored this event. And yeah, um, look forward to a lot of fun stuff coming up here. Um, do keep an eye out on the channel. I'm currently working on the next lore archive. It's going to be SRT as well as the first part of volume F because those tie together really nicely. So I'm working on those. Um, it'll take me a little bit. I've been working hard on that and getting everything together. Now we finally, finally, finally have both epilogues out. <laughs> I can finally start working on these. Um, so thank you for your patience. It's been a long time coming. Um, I'll be working on that, getting that all together. So yeah, look forward to that. It's going to be good. Um, so yeah, that's going to be good. Uh, look forward to that in the future. And in the very near future, look out for something next week. Um, there's going to be something right before the two year anniversary on the channel. I will have a waiting room ready for you all on Monday. So look forward to that. It's going to be good. Oh, and as far as the last epilogue, I'm very excited. My plan is I'm actually going to, because I haven't played through those on stream, whenever the second part of the SRT event happens, I'm going to play through the two epilogues that we haven't seen together, and then we'll hop into the SRT main event from there. I think it shall be good. But yeah. <laughs> what is she cooking? It's a bomb. <laughs> but yeah, look forward to it. I have my... Uh, been working on something and um bear has been helping me a lot with it as well so look forward to it it's going to be good um but yeah uh the waiting room will be up two days ahead of time so you all will be able to see it it'll start at the same time as this stream started um because i want it to be available to as many people as possible um uh, to watch live if you want to so yeah look forward to that i think you all will enjoy it quite a bit um 
It's very meaningful to me too, so I think it's gonna be really good. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Tofu! Do you prefer shock traps or pitfall traps? Just asking for no reason. Okay. As, as a Monster Hunter player, I personally prefer using shock traps. But I should probably tell you to use a pitfall trap. <laughs> you just fall into a pitfall then you just stuck there right then i don't have to get electrocuted it would be fine <laughs> so anyway probably pitfall traps but no reason for that yeah and um the clocks are going to be going back soon so um the next week's schedule I i've actually already been making manual updates because those of you um who are not in north america <laughs> have already moved forward a little bit so um i will be making corrections for that so yeah Look forward to that. New schedule will be happening probably, I think I'll probably post that on Monday and I'll also post the waiting room for that at the same time, so. <laughs> this is true, Isaac. Listen, listen, y'all. You guys do have to fight an angry bear if you capture me. I'm just saying. That's, that's your choice. That's your choice. <laughs> I understand that the bounty is very, very appealing, but yes, there is a bear. A bear. It will be good. <laughs> I will be safe this way. <laughs> oh god, no! Catch and release, it's humane! <laughs> no! Y'all must be stopped. No, no. Y'all must be stopped. <laughs> oh god. How about we cash in on both? <laughs> god, no! Oh no! It's all spiraling out of control. Oh god, they have like six months to prepare now. In order to prepare for the bounty, oh god. Well, well, with that, folks, um, definitely not fearing for my uh, capture over here. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. If you haven't had a chance yet, um, there are two anniversary live streams that you're welcome to check out. As usual, both of them are quite long, but I tried to timestamp them as best as possible. And there was a lot of fun stuff. At the very beginning, there was a clip show just going over everything from the last year. And then the second one, I had some drinks, um, <laughs> sang some songs, and then uh, looked over some amazing gifts that folks sent in. So yeah, it was good. But yeah, thank you all for the stream. This was so much fun. God, this was such a fun stream, y'all. I'm, I'm so happy that we actually, um, we switched sides. That was great. <laughs> oh my God, this was fantastic. Well. I hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Get some rest if it's late your time. If it's early, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and weekend. And look forward to more stuff soon. Um, there will be something on the channel next week in the middle of the week for y'all to see. And then we'll have some more streams later next week. So yeah, look forward to it. I will see you all very, very soon. <laughs> Make sure to go get some food too. <laughs> Oh god, no! Is it 4.30 in the morning? Oh no! For those of you who are in Australia and who are um, in New Zealand and Japan and uh, everything, I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! It's so late there! Please get some rest! Oh god! Oh god! Y'all have a good rest of your day. I will see you all very, very soon. Oh good, it was the night shift life. <laughs> you know, that's fair. <laughs> god, it's so late for some of you. Oh god! You all have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, no need to cash in on a bounty. No need for it. We'll see you all soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>